Are you in the market for a brand new car? Well, if you'd like to give me a call, I'm trying to sell a BMW E36 compact with a dying head gasket. If you'd like to slip me five million pounds, that would be, that would be great. Nobody in chat is in the market. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chat. It's over already. Stream's over. We can we can all just stop tonight. I lit I've just opened fucking eBay with the filters on, with our usual budget and uh so on so. And the best car on all of fucking eBay has just appeared right in front of me. We've won today, boys. We're winners. We haven't even started yet, and we're winners. I feel good about this one. We lost last time, but I feel pretty fucking good about this one already. Welcome to stream. Welcome to Sunday. 24th of March. How are we doing? It's hard to believe March is almost over, but you know what that means, chat? April Fool's is so goddamn close, and sadly, it is not on a Sunday. Oh, I've been I've been longing for an April Fool's stream day for so long, and yet here we are, not partaking. Ah well, maybe next year. Actually, you know it's probably not next year either. Anyway, what is the song? This is Elena by Minerva Corp. There you go. It's uh, it. I'll, I'll I'll drag it onto the the screen while hiding what's underneath the the thing. Not that what's underneath it is good. It's just I don't want to spoil anything. Welcome to the stream background, yeah, the, the all familiar space you've come accustomed to in the, the in the recent months. However, there's a, there's one thing about this background that needs adjusted. Anyone want to take a guess? Anything you see here that's wrong? I'm gonna give you a few minutes, a few minutes, a few seconds. Three, two, one. Have you seen what's wrong yet? That's right. There isn't a single photo on this background of a Daewoo Damas Hummer with suicide doors. So I thought we would fix that today. Scissors doors, sorry. Um, so where would you like to put this <laughs> this beauty for, for, for now? Uh, we could always, you know, make him fill the garage space, you know. He could be our, our, new, <laughs> our new garage queen right here. He can sort of sit here and we can... We can just give me a second here. I think if I go into yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay. I've got good news, good news. I know what I'm doing. I know it's rare, but I know what I'm doing. So I think I just have to take this value and yes, yes. Look at that. Oh fuck me, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I put him here. There you go. You see, and that is a work of art. I think we can go even bigger. Yeah. Okay. We we in the middle. Maybe, oh, a little bit more. A, oh, a t oh, the smallest of amounts. There it is. That that's that's pretty good. And then what you do is you just you drop it um under uh, um oh fuck where is it? There we go. Yeah, there you go. Ah, he's looking good in there, isn't he? 
He killed the man. I might have run him over, but he's still alive. He's still he's still kicking, you know. So uh, for today we have the Deu Damas Hummer in its place. Sorry, I just hit my mic. If you're all deaf now, I could just sit here and do this for the rest of the stream. So how are we all doing? I hope we're happy. I hope we're good. I hope we've been thinking positively about the world because there's so many lovely things to think about. And one of those things is the fact that we get to sit today and stream ourselves effortlessly scrolling eBay looking for the ideal car for a British 17 year old who wants something different from their friends Coopers and Passats. They want themselves something to stand out, something they can afford to insure with these horrible predatory insurance companies, but still be different. That's our task today. And of course, as usual, we do not go at this alone. We have ourselves an opponent. So for the fifth iteration, at least on YouTube, of eBay Egypt's, may I introduce my opponent who only just won their first round last stream two months ago. And here he is. His name is this person. Hello. Uh, I didn't know my name was this person. Yes, and your your surname is generic surname one. My my parents <laughs> never told me that. Your birth Thank certificate you for revealing is it. just like an oopsie. Um, but don't worry. It's just a white sheet of paper <laughs> that says, was born. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking baby. <laughs> I mean, they did drop me when I was breathing. born, so I guess they didn't like it. Oh, we know you <laughs> dropped when you were born. That's not really Ooh. mysterious. Ugly baby just drops on the floor. <laughs> and didn't it improve you so much? I, I, I mean, if you consider that improvement, yeah. Oh, Hello. Yeah. Well, when Hello. you look at the mirror and it shatters, that tells you all you need to know. <laughs> Hopefully, the car you find today. Actually, do you know what? You're a fan of the Lancia Ypsilon. Whatever car you find today is not going to be pretty. Don't than whatever you look attack like the Ypsilon. Don't Someone attack just the my Ypsilon. chat with Korean. I'm terrified because everything foreign is scary. They're probably celebrating David Damas. <laughs> no, yeah, actually, they are. It's David Damas in chat. I want to translate <laughs> what they said. That they may be saying something insanely horrible, and I'm here making it out to be positive. To <laughs> they are just happy. It's gonna be. I love They're your stream, and I love me your at content. All. Today, if it's me, tomorrow, it's tomorrow, or it's tomorrow. I relate to that. I'm gonna have a stroke. <laughs> so, chat. Like I say, if you're unfamiliar with how eBay Egypt works. We will be searching eBay with a £3,000 budget to buy a car that a 17-year-old can reasonably ensure that is funky, interesting, different from what their friends would buy when they go to college together and haha, look at my Mark IV Golf with LED headlights. Fuck it, up yours. Here's my rear-wheel drive Volvo with a roof spoiler. That's the sort of thing we're going for here. So you can play along at home as well in your little armchairs. You don't have armchairs. I'm shooting like your old people. In your gamer chairs. There you go. Much better. Or in the shed you're living in. You can I'm join along chair. by joining my Discord server. If you want a link, I'll drop it in chat real quick. And you can join into the stream chat channel and post cars there. I will occasionally check to see if chat has found something that I haven't. Don't post a 10 grand fire truck. I'm not fucking interested, okay? £3,000 is your budget. Go wild otherwise. You can buy a bus under £3,000. You can, but you, know, you not, can't ensure one as a 17-year-old. Not, not, let, not uh, telling people to act on it, but, you know, you can buy a bus under £3,000. <laughs> Just saying, you know, that would be pretty cool to have a bus under £3,000. It would be, but when you're 17... All the insurance company is going to look at is you have how many seats? 92. That's 92 people you could kill in an accident and you're 17. I'm not surprised well, that you need a specific license for that. Um, you just go to, you just go to Adrian Flux and tell them that you're buying a bus to transport cow poop for your dad's business. Stop typing Korean in my chat. I'm going to get racist in a second. <laughs> anyway. Oh no, I've closed my music. Oh, we're back. Speaking of Korean, I think at some point we should do uh, eBay Idiots International. We should try and pick a car from like a different country. It will not be obviously as accurate what whenever it comes to actually insuring. Well, whatever the other country's what regulations are. What restricts? Uh, well, yeah, but if it's like, like Uzbekistan, like for, then you can just while well, you drive down with like, Damas, like, don't you? For, 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 <laughs> Like, for, see, the, the, because it, it can unrestrict it a bit and can make 
car selection is a bit more funky. Like, for example, yeah, if we're yeah, going like, also... oh, this is Malaysia edition, oh, and we oh, look up what bro, like would, car restrictions get a, for Malaysia, get a proton and you look that up. Nothing's fucking stopping you in Malaysia. Oh, like the UK this, this is US is edition, run by and you go for like who American have the cars. tightest assholes next to nuns. So you're you're forced to get something weird. And it means we can quote them easier. <laughs> that too. Yep. Anyway, chat, we'll stop waffling. We will get to business. Yep. I'm going to show my screen now on eBay with my £3,000 budget. And I assume you'll be doing the exact same as I'm ready to I say, have everything ready. I'm ready to count us down. And chat, we will go for the next roughly hour and a half. And then spend the next in half hour after that in, in, deciding... In fact, the first want. car that I'm seeing on the page, I already, like, bookmarked it. The first Damn. car, I didn't even start, hey, but the you first one heard that this, up, but like, I scrolled wow. down very slightly here at the start just to make sure everything's okay, and I have found possibly the best car on eBay. So this is a strong start for both of us, okay? Okay. Chat, one more thing before we go. If you're unfamiliar with this game mode, once again, we pick more than one car. We're allowed to hoard m multiple of them, but when we get to the end, we can only choose three, and we have to order them in terms of which one we prefer the most, we, we can throw in a wild card, a safe bet, we can have backup choices, but only three. So, we can have multiple cars today, we're not restricted to one, just like every other iteration of eBay Egypts. And without further ado, I think I'm going to count us down. That is a nice Volvo, indeed chat it is, but I don't think you're going to be able to ensure a Volvo XC70 cross country as a, as a, as a 17 year old, because it is a big wagon, contrary to what Jeremy Clarkson did in his 17 year old car challenge in which he chose a big volvo you, you wouldn't actually be able to do that in the real world unfortunately well, he, so. he he insured it on his parents as a pa yes that is also true we we're going legitimate here we are going to fondle the insurance company's ball sacks unfortunately because that's just the way the world works three two one and we're cooking, boys. Time to scroll down. Off we go. Let's now, I will go. avoid referring to cars by their names in case we're interested in them so Tiefsky doesn't know what we're picking. But this is a mighty fine Saab 9000 that's just come up. And I'm just going to say <laughs> that one out loud because we're not going to insure a Saab 9000. But what a machine... Oh, that's not mighty fine. It's not mighty fine. It's not at all. Fasten belts. I mean, head of the game mm. and safety as always with the Swedes. If it if it wasn't <laughs> on bids, it would have been good. Uh, Porsche Boxster. Nobody is insuring that as a young driver, and nobody's going to buy a Boxster for eighteen hundred pounds either because that's about to explode if it hasn't already. Same with that. Same logic applies. Another Saab, but it's once again another wagon and a two hundred and sixty horsepower one as well. That's that's still more too powerful. That one. Yeah, and this is a coupe. Well. The insurance companies class it as a coupe. It's actually a hatchback in physical reality. Uh, and we wouldn't be able to insure that either because it's a two litre, too big of an engine. But it is a nice little Celica, very cool. And only a grand. Those cars are still cheap. If you want a fancy little spider eyed coupe, those little Celicas, great. Good choice. Front wheel drive, oh. though, but you know. Huh? How is this po. Oh? I've never seen this before. So, um. Yeah. I mean, I, I, this car is impossible to, obviously, no point spending a thousand five hundred pounds on this car. Mm -hmm. But I thought it would have been cool and stupid to to to, to, to look at it, right? Yep. And um, it's a Maserati by Turbo. Okay, that's a bad start. For for a thousand five hundred pounds. Now, <laughs> I've never seen like it has leather interior. It has leather interior. Yep. And. The, the door is open, and I'm looking into the leather interior, and the leather interior started to rust. I don't know what? how what? that's possible, but there is rust. The le the leather is turning into rust. This car is made of rust. Like ninety percent of it is oh, yeah, made of a, rust. Old Italian car. What do you expect? How how can leather interior start to rust? I don't really like care not as in leather like... interior. I'll be honest, because I'm about to scroll onto the best car on all of eBay right now. Chat. <laughs> no, but <laughs> look, look at this. It's it's the interior is rusting. The leather is rusting. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what do they make Italian cars out of? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, it does. It's not a pretty car, is it? It's not good. 
I thought it could be a wild card. If I on if only I knew no. that interior is rotting through not. and the tail lights have like holes in them. Chat. For three thousand pounds. Right now. Is well this. I know it's got more rust than that Maserati, but listen, right? Listen. <laughs> It, it's pretty fucking bad, actually. <laughs> oh, it's... Look, farm trucks go through this kind of life. And do you know what? They still work. You know? I'm just say Oh, my God. The wheel. It's a manual. Of course it is. Is but it worth getting the Maserati right? if you convert it into a truck? No. Technically, it will be a work truck. In truck. The first place by yeah, but you, you can have a Maserati truck. That's great. Think about that. No, it's not great. It's quite the opposite. But if you want even more rust, you can have this, unfortunately uninsurable, Subaru MV284 Pickup Brat. How about that? £3,000, Subaru Brat. Where, where is the rust on the picture? I cannot see any rust. Uh, yet. Don't open it and look any closer. Just think it's really good and I've found oh, something. Oh, yeah, really I see. Yeah, I don't think that's going to pass an MOT. Nor no. be able to insure per it. And that, it's that's a for three thousand pounds. Three thousand pounds. Yeah, that's actually a lot of money. <laughs> Screw that. Chat, don't this buy a Subaru crap. Brat. Is what I'm learning, and we need to pick up the pace because we haven't got such a good car to start with. Well, hang on a minute. Look at this. Aren't you just excited all of a sudden? It's a Suzuki Jimny. Um, buy with confidence. I'm gonna struggle doing that with a grey Suzuki Jimny 2008, I'll be honest. <laughs> anyway, oh no. I mean, we'll have to take a look, but like, just no with this one. Oh goodness. Oh god! That's a wing. Uh, and a very moldy soft top. Rotting. Jesus Christ. Oh, that is a... No, 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 no. No. To think people are out here buying MX-5s. Okay, right, it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Kind of, kind of seventeen. Oh, it's got a pink steering wheel. Kind of seventeen-year-old um, insurer convertible in the UK. I'm asking you this, like you're the one that lives if there. It's a, if it's if it's a convertible hatchback. What the <laughs> fuck's a convertible? Oh, I guess a Fiat Five Hundred. As, as, as long as, as, one, as obviously. As long as, in the name of the car, it we goes brand, it. model, hatchback, and then convertible. Well, no, that's when insurance. It's actually it. brand, model, engine size, engine amount of valves, color, hard top convertible, 60k miles. As long as it's not a BMW, <laughs> it's insurable. All right, I'm keeping it there. All right, chat, we've got our first car. We've got our first car. We're holding on to it. Let's fucking go. It's probably not very good, but it's very funny. Focus ST, 225 brake horsepower, 5 door hatch. No. No, thank you. Uh, oh, an MGTF. Can't ensure that. That's another convertible, but yeah, definitely not. What sure. TF stands What's the for engine size? Like 1.4. Okay, that, yeah, well, we could get away with that one. Uh, not a Range Rover, though. Sorry. Uh, oh, very cool, but. Oh, wow, look at this! Oh, fantastic! A 1.4 chat. Look at this. It's a hatchback. And a 1.4. Two excellent things when it comes to insuring a car. It's funky. It's funky. I mean, mm, condition-wise, not fantastic. But it's fine. You know, it's... It, okay, I don't actually think I've seen a car more wrinkly. And yet it doesn't look like it's that damn... Okay, there's a big rust patch. Okay, it's getting worse the more I look. But it's still fine. It's still passable. Very clean interior, actually. It looks good inside. Uh, more rust. More rust. Wow. Um, for two grand, though. It doesn't have VTEC, though. Is that my concern? It says GL on the back, and and the badge that used to say Civic is corroding. <laughs> so it's as wrinkly as its owners. Okay, it is a bit of an old person's car. So it's, it's a base spec 1.4, like late 80s, early 90s Civic. That's sort of battered to death. Yeah, I, okay. Fair enough. Maybe it's not as good as it first looked. Has an MOT until January, though, so, you know, we could get away with this. Fuck, it's in Cardiff. Oh, I don't want it then. Right, we're moving on. No, we, we, can, we can skip that. Holy shit! 
Wow! Wow, those wheels need refurbished. And uh, the paint on top as well. But, wow! I don't think we can insure this one, chat. I'm gonna keep it real with you. But wouldn't it be funny to try? Wouldn't it be funny to try? What do you think, chat? Yes, yes, oh no. See, here's the problem, right? One, it's not a hatchback. It, it, it may, you might think it, you could pass it as one. I bet you the insurance company won't class it as one. Two, two liter big engine. Big engine. Um, two liter turbo for that matter. Another issue is the availability parts is low. Insurance costs probably going to be higher for that because it's a very rare car. Um, but uh, last not expired in July 2019. I'm assuming that's supposed to say MOT. 175,000 miles. Chat, it's got no MOT. It's super high mileage. The engine's too big. I would love to have a Renault Aventine on my lineup. But unfortunately, I just can't take it today. Hey, Chevsky, you in the market for a 2 liter turbo Renault Aventine with 175,000 fucking miles? Someone really oh, drove yeah, that car. Oh, yeah, of course. That's exactly what you were looking for, I bet. Just going to fall apart instantly. Yes, it <laughs> will. At least it looks and I'm like moving it. on for that reason. Sorry, chat. Body type coupe. It does count as a coupe. Don't ask why. So does a Honda CRZ. I, I really just don't question things. My super's a hatchback to my insurance. It just is that way. Body shape is irrelevant. It's just whatever they say it is. All right, page two. I really took my time on page one. There was quite a lot of options. Oh, fuck me. This is where it all goes downhill. A Renault Wind and a Ford Fiesta. Uh, what? Are you... Is every body panel on this car different? Okay. Well, some of them are. Not all of them. Right. That's that's about as clapped as an Astra can get. The turbo charge. Also very expensive. Get out of here. Oh, okay. I, I found a vehicle that is out of our budget, right? But I yep. think it's worth being looked at. <laughs> So it's 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 currently on bids, but buy it now price is three thousand two hundred and fifty. So it's just out mm, of our budget. Over. Right. Okay. If you if you want if you want to take a look Ooh. at it and and tell me why you do, don't want it. Um... <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. Is it a proper import one? Oh my lord! Oh the seats. Holy shit! The chrome mirrors! Fucking hell! That is both vile and the best thing ever. Holy shit! What a very limited number, believed to be under 40. Wow! Okay, I think I found... Wait, uh, actually, the engine size may ruin this. What is the engine size? Engine size 1.5. Okay. You get out of that. The description oh. is. The, the, the description is, is. This car belongs to an old lady who is now in a care home. Yeah. So, um. I think this is a perfect vehicle. Speaking of perfect vehicles, I find one that's cheap, a fantastic entry level classic, and it's a two tone. And very fancy with a rear spoiler and big wheels, big sporty wheels. Chat, I'm liking this one. The only downside of it is this bit. Mm, that, that's, that's a little poopy, possibly, depending on how you're going to use it. And, oh, it's a 1.8. It's game over, boys. It's a 1.8. We can't have our Rover 200 turbo diesel five-door hatchback. Too much, too turbo much. Turbo diesel. Can't be doing that. No. Nope. Very cool, though. Oh no, not one of these. This is not not um appropriate. Tell I heard you're a big fan of these. Would you like would you like would you like this for your list instead? Oh. I heard you're a really big fan of them. Uh, wow, thank you very much. Not a problem. Uh, uh, well, unfortunately, I can't have it because they've taken a deposit. Oh no! Oh, ah, so yeah, sad. That's true. Forgot to mention. Oh, that. I can't have it. Yeah. I know. Wow, I'm heartbroken. But I was really, I was really kind giving you the opportunity. Uh, even I was if... looking forward to having that on my list. Yeah. No, I know. 
Right, page three them. Oh my fucking fuck my fucking fucking dirty asshole. What is that thing? That is a one and a half grand. That car. I won't name it because I know chat's going to go... Oh, I can't give it away. Um, there's some mileage on it, chat. Uh, but it is a it is a 1.2. Now that is... Oh, chrome mirrors too. Oh, hang on a minute. It's slow down with your fancy black sporty wheels. Now you see, we've got, I've already got, um, uh, where is it? That, but this is somehow stronger, and it'll definitely be cheaper to insure than the other one. Just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, the if rover enthusiast only car. just entered chat after we stopped looking at the rover. A bit what? late. I think either we summoned him, or he's late. I think it's one, it's both. The other one's more interesting. It is more interesting. It's also more risky. We need both. I, I, I'll i keep it for now, just because it's funny and we don't have many other cars on us. We might as well. Here is another, however. Oh, at one point, yes. No. Damn it. Damn it, you fucking... Oh! Hello? Sex is calling? Hello? Wakey, hello? Is Ring, ring, ring? Sex on the phone? Hello? What condition are we? This is quite cheap for one of these, though. So, and it, it does look a bit rough. But if it runs, it runs, you know? If it runs, it runs. What is our mileage looking like? Any 100k? That's... Eh, it could be worse. It's the 1.6. They all are, I'm pretty sure. Apart from the two liter ones. We'll ignore that. Uh, MOT lasted 2015. Right. Hmm. There is um, bomb, a Volkswagen boys. Golf 1.9 remapped spares or repairs. I don't care. I've got 100 NX <laughs> on my screen with no MOT, so I can't have it. But it was. It yeah, was I had. I nice had a Smart 4 4 Brabus with no MOT. I was love so the, sad I couldn't have I love it. the NX, man. What a machine. It's got the sporty kit and everything. It's a, ah, it's perfect. But no MOT. Can't have it, boys. But twelve hundred pounds, I'd buy it for that. Didn't look that bad. A couple of rust patches, needed some paint. Otherwise, it was pretty decent. What would you say? What? Please be a small engine. Oh God, please. Oh God. Oh, for the love of please, please don't be. Oh, don't be massive. What? What size? What? What? What size is this? Is this? It's it's a diesel. It's a diesel something. Oh fuck! I have to know. Oh my God. Oh God. What size? What size is this engine? Right. Go 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 go. Tell me. Please. Any, we can roughly measure it using a ruler if you don't know what size oh, the engine is. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's, it's not... Please. Um, where does it say it on this website? <laughs> oh, my God. No, it's a 1.8. Fuck you. Every diesel's a 1.8. Every fucking diesel ever. Why are you looking for diesels? I'm not looking for them. It just keeps giving me them. Chat, I'm, I'm willing to risk it on this anyway. I'm so willing to risk it on this anyway. Do we just do it? This has to go with- Look, it's not even bad shape. It's lit- Oh my god, it's so good. Look at that steering wheel. Look at it. I bet you can insure it. I think we could, we could push some boundaries with it because it's a bit older. It's a bit- oh, it's, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yes? Alright, it's going in. I think it would be a good wild card if all else fails. That is fantastic. It's clean. It's really cheap. And it's got no miles on it. It's just a slightly big engine. I'm going to hold on to it. That's that's a very good find. And, it's, and uh, the thing is, it's a car that TFC would put on his list if he finds it too. So we do risk losing it if we end up in a predicament where we both show the same car. <laughs> Sorry, has this car crashed? It's crashing in the... the se How the fuck have you... Right. So, I found a Subaru for Sieltevsky, and in the photo, it's crashing into another car. Okay, so did they they did they wreck look, and they just put it. it up? Oh. What is that? Like that other car's gonna pull I guess, away in the big. I guess Subaru I guess that's how they. I guess that's how they rear. park at home. Right, that is fucking vile. 
That is unbelievable. Are you f Oh, God. Do you know what? I'm so glad that this is cheap. Because it means I could afford this. So I could go and crash it on purpose. Two and a half grand for this, Tioski. You picking it up anytime soon? <laughs> I, I, I have a neighbor who has a BMW X6 with the body kit from the same company, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's mandatory, what, what, isn't what? it? Yeah. Oh, Christ, there's a fucking hearse on my screen. Just resprayed in cream. No. I'll move by. Whoa! What is with the weird cars this this session, man? Right, well, that is a, a, a putrid color. But very, very... Era of the car. <laughs> okay. It's automatic. What? Look at that what auto box. Three uh, speeds. Mm, uh, 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 two liter. I'll take it though. I'll put this car on the list. Is that good? Oh really? I'll try to uh, like. I will try to advocate for 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 two liter. Chat. Is this even worth having on as a joke? <laughs> Let's have a look at it, shall we? On this car, car thirty-one thousand miles. And it's and it's a million years old. Owned it for four years. Has been a pleasure to own. Full history, all that stuff. Uh, tax and MOT exempt. Cheap to insure. He says it himself. It must be true. Maybe able to deliver. There's a lot of positives here for very little money. I mean, you can see th there has to be positives because the car itself isn't one. Do Do you have four hundred and sixty pounds? Because he can own car. I've always wanted a car, but I have four hundred and fifty pounds, so I'll need to save up. Uh, unfortunately, I hope it's not you can't have then. car. No. So, what what color even is this? I don't know what color this is. It's something that comes out of a, a child whenever they've eaten like bad food. I'm gonna hold on to it because funny. We can narrow them down later. Okay, that's the important part. We just we just take what we can. And we run away. Ah. And you see, I don't think we're going to get insurance on this. Nor do I think this has an MOT because of the price that it's currently set to. Um, I mean, it's roughed up, but everything's there. You know what I mean? Like, it's not missing bits. It's just in worse off condition. Uh, has no MOT and won't start. Moving on. <laughs> do these things just write themselves? Uh, right. This isn't going to have an MOT either. But I am going to look at it because it is a Ladder Neva Cossack X2. Uh. There's, oh, X2, meaning there's two of them. Two Ladder Neva Cossacks for sale. Wow. This one's in a hedge. And the other one is next to a caravan in a hedge. Right. Actually, you know what? You can probably insure this. Oh, oh, it's 800 cc engine, 47,000 miles. Are you looking at a Daewoo Damas by chance? Um, unfortunately not, but it has the Whoa! same energy. It has exactly the same energy. Guys, we cannot insure nor drive this, but it is a Ford C100 American truck barn find project Cummins 6B car transporter rat rod. Want a photo? No. <laughs> <laughs> I already sent it. Wow. Wait, is it a rat sure rod because they chopped the roof off of it's that? It's a rat rod because it isn't one yet. <laughs> Keep on scrolling, baby. You know what time it is. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, stop showing me the same cards over and over again. I, I, I want to see something new. eBay, I'm only on page five. Oh, a Shogun. Don't care. Too big. Um, slammed XJR. Never going to start in a million years. Um, Whoa! Show me all the Whoa! Cylinders. Come on, man. Be, be original, eBay. Whoa! That's a two-liter. Is eBay broken? Why? Why are there so many? Why are there so many good cars? And they're all like just slightly out of reach. Right. Chat. One point six. It's a sporty spec. It's in a fancy color. It's a manual. This is. It's got an engine light on. Fuck. Um, you can just you can just take it's not out. Bad. You can just take out the dashboard of the car, and then you can like unplug the light that light, lights up check that, engine, that and then you put it up together, problems. and it works. 
MOT, MOT until October. So it does have an MOT. But the engine light is on. Please note, engine management light is on. I've took it to the garage and been advised there is a misfire, but it runs and drives absolutely fine. Okay. In traffic, the revs drop about to about 600 and climb back up again. So it's basically my BMW Compact, but it's this car that I can't say out loud because I'm interested in this one. Chat. I would consider this one because it actually is very cool and it's a safe bet. We need to have at least a safe bet. This one's not super safe. It is probably still going to be slightly more expensive. It's a sporty spec. It's a 1.6. We're kind of teetering on the edge of what you could consider being affordable for a young driver. But it is very much up there and it's a type of car that's not going to be in a very high insurance group because it's from, like, you know, it's this manufacturer. It's not, they're, you know, it's not a Subaru, for example, or a BMW. It's, I'm having this one, right? Regardless what you say, and people do like it by the looks of things, I'm having that. But I didn't Continue. even say anything. Why are you assuming my opinion already? I'm not Damn. assuming your opinion, I just don't want you to know that I find a fantastic car. Uh, speaking of fantastic cars... Well, you're cars, clearly excited about it, so I already know. This is something TFC will have on his list, so we could pick it just to eliminate it from him. <laughs> Look at that fancy little badge on the front. And the fancy okay. color it's in, too. Well, well, do, do you have one pound? <laughs> no, I'm broke. Someone donate right now. Unf I'm unfortunately, if, 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 if you get, if you somehow find one pound on the road, you can have 2003 Scream Halloween truck. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. For a quid, I would take it. Halloween. It's not Halloween. Can't have it. Sorry. It's a bit, it's a bit out of date. Yeah. Or the uh, date hasn't come yet. Uh, uh, interior. I'm not insuring in this, but like, you can have it. Can I have it? Yeah, you can. I've had enough of seeing it already. I'm, 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 a, bit, <laughs> I'm a bit tired. You can, you can just hear. Oh, boom, boom, donation. Boom, boom. Have two. I can now buy two scream trucks. Thanks, Pushmore. Two pounds. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> See, I am earning your money. Oh, God. I can bait people so easily. Go. Oh, not stripe. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> this thing's... What is... Okay. You know, I'm... No, no, I'm... no that's, that's enough. That's enough prelude. Chat, does this go on our list? I think it might have to. Wait, well, hold on. Let me check the engine size. 1.8. We're cooked. We can't have it. There's no way we're going to rock up to the insurance firm and go, hey... First car here, right? New driver. Yeah, it's a Fiat Punto HGT Abarth 1.8 Sport. They're not going to. I, I would have picked that if it soon. wasn't the 1.8. Yeah, I would have picked that if it wasn't the 1.8. It's bright it's yellow, yellow and everything. It's. So I know, I know, good. I know this one. Yeah, I know the exact it. one I went yeah, past. Yeah, it. You, you know why I just called that? That you would have, you would have seen it. Yeah, I, I was, I was right. Well, see, oh you, you, you say. It's the whole, it's the whole gathering. It's the whole squad. It's, it's, oh my God. The convention has come to town. They've come among us. Oh my God. I can't, every single Proton Jumbuck in the UK has reunited for this cell. For this seller all at once. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking hell. This is this is this is mental. Could send Unfortunately, additional pictures you can't ensure WhatsApp. that. No, we can't ensure any of them, which sucks asshole. But See that man. that's the problem. So far you've been only looking at like one point eight and I my 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 cars two a two liter a eBay. two liter. <laughs> Man, I'm so disappointed. But the st that, that is <sighs> that is the, the UK's biggest jumbuck collector, and they're selling all of them. And I want at least one. But you have to insure it as a commercial vehicle, because it's a pickup truck, and so you can't have it. Even outside of our game, I can't go and drive a jumbuck conveniently, which sucks. I would just daily one. Are you kidding me? I think it'd be so fun to have a, a small pickup truck. They're so cool. I mean, you. You can have it with Adrian Flux, but then they won't pay out if you actually get into an accident, so... Perhaps. It's just them. Well, we'll see. 
Maybe one day I'll get the opportunity. The thing is, proton jump bucks are not cheap. And pickup trucks in general actually aren't cheap, is what I should be saying. Uh, whoa! Hi, little guy. Hi, little guy. Hey there, little buddy. Little buddy boy, little little man. Little little man, you. You little you little y Yaris T Sport 1.5 VVTI three door, very low miles. That is a very nice little car. TFC, remember we were having a discussion off stream about the uh, Yaris and, uh, uh, yeah. and uh, the T Sport variant. It's funny because I've just found a second phase bumper on the car with uh, first uh, phase headlights. It's funny we were just discussing that earlier, and uh, yeah, here here it is. Very cool, but I'm not going to take it just because we have this, and this I would rather take as an alternative. Very cool though. Don't uh, don't let me, don't make it sound like I'm dissing. Right, 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 right. Take a minute. What's the engine size? 1.7. Could we get away with a 1.7? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's also a soft top convertible. Which might mean they will look at me as a 17-year-old and go, fuck off. Any, the gay car? Don't, why do you mean gay car? <sighs> what the fuck do you mean gay car? Those seats. Oh, Those clocks. Okay. That's I... the smallest rev gauge. See, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to ruin this car. Yeah. Because I don't really care for it, <laughs> and I'm going to ruin a good option, good potential option, just for a joke, right? Yep. Go on. But this is the worst name on a vehicle that you can possibly give it to any car. You just replace one letter. Oh. Proton Impian. Otherwise known as the Proton Impian. It's that is an actual good option, not very fact, interesting though, but it's an actual good yeah, option. Yeah, the fact that one of these just exists, still, and is that cheap, says all you need to know, I guess. Maybe maybe somebody who has it is in pain. Hee <laughs> 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 hee, wacky doodle. Um, chat, do you want to take this car, yes or no? While you do answer me, I'm going to check my server to see if people are sending me anything remotely interesting there. Uh, someone did send 100 NX, uh, good taste, but unfortunately can't go down that route. Someone sent this, I did see this on eBay, um, off stream. This is a Volvo 960 Ambulance, for some reason. Uh, you can buy one of those if you've got three grand lying around. It is in budget, but uh, I don't think we're going to insure that anytime soon. Sorry. Um, anything else interesting sent by... No fucking way. Right, let me take a look at this, chat. Wait, it's on Facebook Marketplace. All right, fine, I'll look anyway. I'll look anyway. Oh my god. And where is this in the world? W way mouth. Don't know where that is. Slightly scuffed up. But it's yellow. Oh man. You don't know how much I want one of these. Just for a laugh, you know? It just looks like a car that would be a bit of fun. In a color like that. As cheap as that is. Probably cheap to insure. Oh god, chat. Why would you do this to me? Can we ch <sighs> Chevsky, can we have a car that isn't on eBay? <laughs> no, okay, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna cheat. Someone did I mean I used I used Auto Trader before. You did, but it was like a one off. You didn't use it again. I I I feel I won't do it. I won't do it, okay? But I need to share with you what someone sent me. Two thousand three hundred pounds, okay, for seal in the UK. One point five okay. manual in yellow. Look. Oh, oh yeah, damn, okay. Oh, man. You know, if I was looking for a car right now, I would be on a flight and I'd be looking at this right <laughs> away. That is, is just awesome. I love these little things. They're, they're so forgotten and silly uh, and it's a great color. S speaking of Toyotas, look at this one that's in budget. I'm going to stop looking very soon for my own eyes sick. Jesus Christ. Imagine getting rear-ended by that. 
fucking hell. I would claim whiplash, to be fair. I would claim fucking anal <sighs> probing. Jesus Christ. Also, chat said no to this car, so I'm gonna say... I, actually, you know, I won't send it to JFK. I'll be nice just in case this is already on your list. Um, but it's a very fancy little sports machine that I think chat's right. It's too risky to insure. So we'll move on. I don't Next. have anything sports. Well, it was a Fiat Barchetta. There you go. Yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they didn't sell them officially, so you're not going to insure one, so I just didn't try. <laughs> yeah, they're all left-hand drive, aren't they? Yeah. That is cool, but too big of an engine. I want to look at it anyway, because why not? Because these are cool cars. I'll tell you what about this one. It's clean for the money. Well, I mean, the red is turning pink, but that's just red cars for you. Look at the wood and the dash and everything. Oh, this is on bids. I can send it because it's, it's not in the competition. There you I go. You like can have that. your Devu. Oh, no. Devu Damas, Daihatsu edition. <sighs> no, no way. No Whoa. way I just found this. What engine is Whoa. in this? Oh, Fantastic. I'll grab that real quick. That's a that's a cool machine, but out of our budget range. Sorry, boys. Life's a bitch. Oh my god. Live with it. Deal with it. Cry about it. Do whatever. Oh my god. What what have what have you done? Actually, you, you can't tell me, but you know. Well, well, I I can tell you what I've done. I can't tell you the name of the car, but I think I found the best vehicle on eBay. I just okay. need to double check what the engine size is. Is this your trooper? Please. Pretty cool. Oh, it's Zedos! Can't have it. V6, but Zedos exists. Alright, I'm gonna start scoring a little quicker now, boys. We need to try and pick up some All right, good well, slop. I, I had this on my list, so... um, I was going to try, because it's a 2-liter V6. You weren't gonna make it. It's a 2-liter sedan V6. You're game over from the get-go. Yeah. Well, no, no, I have plenty of other cars. I just had it on my list, yeah. just in case. Nope. Weren't gonna ensure that for days. But there is a Nissan Micro K11 Vibe. Vibe! It's called the Vibe. Let me keep looking at my Discord server here, boys, because yeah, you all have been sending quite a lot, um, and I'd like to catch up with what you have been suggesting, because that little um, Toyota was lovely. Very much enjoyed that. Um, have you sent me anything more valuable than that? Someone did send the jump box. I found the car. It's a 1.7. Mm, you're teetering on a fine line with that. Um, I'll try it. It's okay. too good. Guys, this is useless to me. Why would you send me this? What about this one? Is this better? Now, you see, this is the... Pr I, I hate to tell you this. This car is in fucking Texas. If this was in the UK, we'd have won. Okay? Letting you know that. The false hope you give me is irreparable. If this car was in the UK, we'd have won. But it isn't. It's in fucking Texas. This is absolutely useless to me. So, um, thank you. Uh, I am going to send it to you, Tevsky, though, just to show you what I could have had if my chat weren't a blithering idiot. Do I, I want a car from Texas? In a country with a few less firearms. Look at this. How is this in Texas? I don't know. It's the least Texas car I've ever seen. You, it's a picture you, 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 you go in and you buy it and then you drive it out of the dealership where you bought it in we and just get shot. like littered with bullet holes. The car just turns into like a spaghetti maker. <laughs> spaghetti maker. I don't know Petrol! what it's called, but... It says on the Citroen C2. You, you understood what I said anyway. <laughs> no. I'm going to be an ass. No. I think you're a lunatic. I think you need okay. to learn English again. Well, I'm not actually from the moon, so you're wrong here. Okay. A lunar tit, then. <laughs> oh, eBay, show me something interesting! Wow, a Karina! Moving on. I, I found something very interesting. Unfortunately, I can't insure it because a 2.9, but it's, it's a beauty and it's a two-tone. Oh. Look at that. Oh, what have you sent me? Hold on, let me scroll away from my... Wait, hang on, what has someone sent me? Why would you... Why have you sent me Porsche 911 3. Point... You realize that this is... this? We have a budget cap here? Um, oh, right, you could have sent me... I would prefer the Porsche. This... This is... Why did I design this car like this? It has flared arches. 
It does have flared arches, you're right. Yeah. It also has a 2.9 liter engine. It's honking every way. There was a Nissan Cube, yeah, and I scrolled past it. You missed the Copen, yeah. I don't think you think an insurance company's going, hey, seventeen year old, climb into this death chop micro midget bitch car. If it rolls over, you get crushed because the roof's made out of fucking tin foil. No, Copen's you, not gonna work. You can't insure a Cube because they Ooh. weren't sold in the UK officially. You can't insure a yes, Copen because yeah. it's just shit. Really? They, 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 yeah, not a, they, not a no, first gen I, Cube. Not a first gen uh, cube. No, no, but that one doesn't count. It 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 looks like somebody the who's trying to cube. paint their lips. With the That's what it looks like. Window. You know what people look like when they like paint their lips? You miss sex. <laughs> like, the panda was cool, like. but it wasn't a panda hundred horsepower, so it's not as cool as it could be. If we find a panda hundred horsepower, you bet your ass it's going on the list. But a regular 1.2 Panda, good car, but is it really better than, like, this? No. Then there's no point in taking it. Uh, this Rover here. No, moving past that as well. I'm hoping... Well, I haven't quite missed sex altogether, chat. Not quite. You wanted a Fiat Panda? I'll fucking give you one. Here you go! The Panda 1000 CLX three-door hatchback. You happy now? Right, let's continue. Fake coupe, two liter. Bye bye. Nope, can't have that. BMW seven series. Do not buy a seven series for under three grand. Are you kidding me? Oh, the move that won last time is still here. It's still for sale. Nobody bought no it. No one bought that. It's still for sale. It's like Noble the best deal it. on the internet. No one, no one two bought it. Two months have here. gone by. It's still here. No one bought it. You're fucking serious. Chat, last funk, uh, funky finds, wrong one. Last eBay Egypt's winner is still for sale. This is the best fucking car on eBay, the best deal. Why has not one of you gone and done something about this yet? Get a move on. Move on. Get a... Get, the joke. get a move in your family. The joke is funny. Chat, this is the best car on eBay right now. You need to get a move on. Move. They had to move. Get shifting. Re even if you don't have money. If you're too young, I don't care. Recommend it to someone. Someone got to get that thing and look after it, okay? That is that is deal of the century for a very funky, very rare little car. It, it's it. literally an opportunity of a lifetime. It will it, never it come is the, for it's the best condition one you'll it's ever see. It's in perfect see. condition. It is fantastic. We're two, just over two grand. I'd buy it if I was in the UK. You see, that's the thing. You gotta have the right condition. Even I would have that, but I don't have space for another car, even a tiny one. And I, you know, that's my problem. This is what so, happens when you buy a right. massive Let land yacht someone. Supra. Let me shame someone. Someone has just sent me. Are you ready for this? They pinged mm -hmm. me for this. It was that important. It's a link mm -hmm. to, is this dot .ar, is this Argentina or something? I'm going to assume Argenti Argentinian website selling cars, a Ford Fiesta 1.3. And they tagged me and said, this is in budget. I could wow. type in bag of dog shit into Amazon <sighs> and it would cost 50p at a push. Probably for the plastic bag that the shit is in. It costs the 50p. And that is, that's in budget. I'm not gonna fucking buy a Ford Fiesta from Argentina. Do you... Continuing. Page 12. Page 12. Put it on a massive container ship and really? hope it doesn't parallel park in like a narrow river. I hope river. it parallel parks in the fucking sea on the way over. How about that? <laughs> We're nearly an hour into our search and I have five cars right now. How about you? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. All one right. more. Oh, oh my god. No, Tievsky, I ask you this question. Is mm -hmm. you bling? I don't know. Every time I look in, in the mirror, it shatters. So I find out. can't tell. What do you think of this? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That is bling, especially with an automatic. Imagine, like, at a, at a traffic light, you can press the brake and the accelerator at the same time, and it will go brrrr, <laughs> 2,000 RPM. It takes a screenshot. Um... <laughs>
Someone in the server said this, after this donation of course. If no one buys the move, some retard will probably scrap it. That's what I worry about push more. If nobody buys the move, some retard will probably scrap it. I fucking know. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, it's worth a lot more than scrap money. But if nobody's buying it for the price it's at right now, the owner might just go, ah, fuck it. You know what? Yeah. So what? Nobody's going to buy this. Might as well pick up a couple of hundred quid and put it towards my next car. It's, be it's better than nothing. Someone do it. Save that thing. This is cool because it's got graphics on it. It's not cool because it's a Nissan Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, at least it's a manual. It's not going on my list because who's paying three grand for a 1.3 Sunny? But thank you. It, it was kind of funny, uh, funky. Don't get them confused. Nothing. That's why like the move is unique the most because the really car you could buy. The, the the owner didn't go and scrap it first and then buy another car. The they tried to be sell it. The this and drizzle. I agree. Someone buy that move. I wish it was me. But I'm not in the position to, so someone else has to be. Oh no! I'm glad this is a two liter because it means I'm not going to consider it. Because if it was anything smaller, I might have. Chrysler Neon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A manual? Is it a manual Neon? Um. Uh, automatic. Chat, God look bless at America. Look at this chat. It's got little blue lights in the front, like a police car, but it's not because it's a green Ignis. <laughs> um, with its plastic trim arches making it look like a miniature crossover, and its polka dotted um, seats, and a five speed manual gearbox. For £1,000? For in, an, in a day where the, the United Kingdom is in a goddamn recession, being able to own and buy a little car like this that's funky, special, costs nothing to insure, and nothing to buy. This is a value to the nation, a car like this. I'm, I'm not going to yeah, take it I out did, of respect. Yeah, I did actually go past it. What a fantastic little deal. A manual 1.3 litre, tiny, it's, it's reliable. A good, it's a good deal. Good condition it's not funky, overall. But it's, it's a good yeah, deal. Yeah, it's not funky enough. It's, it's cool, and I respect it a lot. It's, if it was like a sporty spec or something, it would be very much up for consideration. If I, we, I won a round with an Ignis Sport already. Yeah, Ignis Sport. But that is a very cool little car, and I think it deserves a lot of respect for being that cheap and being that good and being being sold in a country that's kind of financially fucked right now. That's a brilliant little car for someone who needs it. That is not. That's an orange Freelander. Get that off my screen. <laughs> BW Compact. It is a 1.6. Won't be able to insure it, though. Goodbye. Moving on. Uh, Dodge Nitro. Not even going to say words. Not even, even going <laughs> to use language. I want to see what a Dodge Nitro owner looks like. Punchable. <laughs> Describe his facial features, and I'll, I'll I'll say yes or no. Probably looks like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, <laughs> bit lanky, a bit bent. Um, I didn't ask you to describe me. <laughs> lanky and bent. That's a oh, I found the prelude. Life's good. Shiny the IQ. You Good, I, that means I scrolled past an IQ. Thank fuck. Wasn't even aware, glad I have. Unless it was pink with flames on it. I'm not interested in an IQ. Oh, that's cool, but 1.8. Every time we find one, it's always 1.8. They did do a 1.6 in them, but they just don't seem to exist. Um, oh, Seicento. Se, 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 no, I stop. Being so. Oh wait, is it an auction? Of course it'd be. Jeez. Um, what page are we on now? This is page number fifteen. Give me one moment, chat. Give me no, one it's not. moment. What? One monument. No, stop being so cruel. Me when I find a car that's worth money. <laughs> I found too many cars that are just good. This oh, one yeah? has one owner from new. And it has like eighty thousand miles. <laughs> okay, chat. I, I have to check the it, engine we? size. Let's take a plunder. So this chat is what we've done. Whoop. Uh let's see what's here. Oh <laughs> now we can't have this, too big of an engine, and it's very brown. It's also got a Porsche badge on it. And it's worth very little money. What a machine that is. Um no, moving on. Well anything here. That's not right, unless this is in terrible condition. I see rust on it, 
See plenty of rust, all right, but it's not the worst condition. Chat, what's wrong with this? What size is the engine even? Uh, height. Wait. Okay, two hundred thousand miles. Okay. Starts and runs. Does it have an? M it would have an MOT. No, it's been off the road since twenty sixteen. <gasps> Can't have that, 1. boys. 4. One point four. Tevsky, there's a hard top Saab nine hundred S on here for seventeen hundred pounds. It's been off the road since twenty sixteen, but it's and it's got like rust bubbling around the arches and stuff. But otherwise, it's like not that bad. You know why those cars are really expensive? Seventeen hundred quid. You can have one there that's fully that's fully recoverable. Yeah. Well, that's unless there's really... something horribly wrong with it that well, no one's not telling about. But yeah, I don't know what's like underneath. Obviously, but <gasps> yeah. No, chat. Listen closely. This is a mighty Ribbit. machine. Ribbit. This is three thousand pounds, chat. It's a manual, and the engine size is probably going to be a, a 1.6. It's not a hatchback, but it's old enough to where you might get away with it not being a hatchback. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a very orange interior, but it's got a vinyl roof. And that's cool. And it's got a very fancy steering wheel. We've seen plenty of these kinds of uh, kind of steering wheels today, actually. What do you think, chat? It's not super exciting, but it's very different, and I believe it's endurable, all right. And, um, you know, you got your little, um, that logo on the front. That's cool. It's alternative, all right? And it's not the crossfire from earlier, for example, you know? Pictures looking like they only cared about it, too? Indeed, it does. I will hold on to that one, uh, and put it in with our list, making six overall. <laughs> Very cool. There is there is the most car car for sale, <laughs> the and this here. is not you, you cannot like find this anywhere ever. Oh yeah, it's a Hyundai Sonata. This is this is an an car. Thank you for wasting my time. What do you mean it's rare because then there are none left. This is not going to be special. better than the one we already have, chat. And it's a one. It's a one point nine. Is that the size or other one is? I can't remember. Um, either way. Oh, left hand drive. Out of here. That hurts insurance badly. We got. We got a good. Actually, I, can I check this one? Is this? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> just, just double checking. Um. Hmm. Oh my god. Is this actually in good shape? Guys, we- oh my god, that wheel! We have a lot of weird steering wheels going on today. Chat, this has to be up for consideration. This has to be up there. This is... wonderful. 79,000 miles. MOT! 5-speed manual. Are we up here? Are we gonna say- are we gonna say yes to this one? This is a- it's a hatchback. It's it's got engine size. I didn't think about that. What's the engine size on these? It doesn't say. Um, it can't be big, right? It can't be big. What's the engine size on? Uh, there's one that's a fourteen hundred. I'm gonna yeah fourteen hundred. Okay, chap. One point four. I think we're good. I think we're good. The Fiat X one nine below. By the look at that, don't you worry. By the look at that, I don't want to look at it anymore. I am putting that on our list. That's that's fantastic. I'm not going to look at the Fiat X19. I am actually because it is probably the most rotten car I've ever seen on eBay. <laughs> this is oh, oh my god. Okay, that is a significant amount of car missing. That's not just. Yeah, I've rot. seen that X19. That... Yeah, have you seen the image of the corner? Yes, yes. No, I know, I know. I have seen that car. Fucking he why? Why even sell it? That that's. I think <laughs> that's just too far gone. Surely, right? There's a whole chunk of car missing. That's Italian for you. There's an alpha sud on here. Worse for wear, though. Right. Um, I don't. I don't know. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a 1.6 one. Oh my god, chat. Does this have an MOT? Does it? Please. Does it have one? MOT to June. Oh my god. Oh my god. The amount of these we've come across in eBay Egypt and never been able to accept because they've all been bigger engine ones. We There is a small engine one right here, right now, with leather seats and everything. That, that That's um, theft. It feels I, like the, it. There is a vehicle that is not insurable, but I just want to know who is crazy enough to just import this. Like, who, who imported this? Who, who are you? Oh, You're no. a legend. What? What? Someone sat down one day and went, I need this car. I need it from the US. I need a V6 Sh Chevrolet. Chevrolet Cavalier. Chevrolet, yeah. They are also they they are also saying that it's cheap insurance. I mean, I was being imported puts us out of our game basically, but but like, what the fuck? I would buy this for fourteen hundred quid. Are you kidding me? I want this. I would do all manner of unspeakable things with this car for that money. I wouldn't care that it's left-hand drive and an important V6. Yeah, also... Oh my god. Not not an option too expensive, but you can have a Borg word. <laughs> no, no, no. What the fuck do you mean a Borg word? <laughs> you have a Borg, Borg, Borg word. Borg word. <laughs> <laughs> it's a coupe. It, can, it's also yeah. called a Borg word. <laughs> you can have a Borg word coupe. <laughs> <laughs> I never. I. I don't want to. I don't want a Borg word. Thank you. Hey, baby, do you want to catch a ride in my Borg word co convertible? Long drive, a long drive in the Borg word. We're gonna take the Borg word tonight. It's not like you can even get away with calling it the Isabella either, because saying you want to ride Isabella is a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm, this is. This is. Might be our. This might be our um winning pitch today. It really might be. It is that good. That is such a good find. We're gonna continue scrolling, and we're gonna scroll strong with lots of. I think. Good I vibes. think I've reached the end of eBay. How do you work so fast? It's all the grind set, you know. <laughs> it is indeed. Some weird cars. I just scroll past there, but none of them are the insurable type. Oh, this is cool, but I bet you it actually it says runs and drives, which probably means that's optimistic, and therefore it's got no MOT. That's got flames on the front. No denying that. Um, but is there something I could... What is this thing? Right. Th this is interesting. Probably the most normal wheel we've seen today, somehow, and yet it's in this brand of car. Um, that is very cheap. It's a 1.9 diesel. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's out of the question. I'm going to show you this, TFK. Are you familiar with this car? Hmm. It's 1.9 diesel, so it's sort of out of the question. But look at this thing. Oh, yeah, I am. No, I am. The ZX Aura. Um, see, I showed the you this one before. The condition is so I, clean. I, I, I showed you this car before, and you said it looked boring because it had a sack of wheels on it. I mean, it is boring. But I, I just didn't recognize it. It's just like, this is weird. It's boring because it's like the only Citroen I've seen today that has a steering wheel I could call normal. So let's <laughs> let's put it that way. It's um, also silver. It yeah, doesn't it show up the design color. all that well. Much. Okay, this is just called Rover and it has a picture of someone's Lego set. I'm not sure that's what I'm after. But this car's I, I still guess here. We've I... seen this for sale before. The Uno. I, get, I guess I can say that <laughs> I've, I've got my free final picks already. I feel like. <clears throat> I mean, I, I have nowhere to go, so. Oh, a video. I have to watch the video. <laughs> there you go, we have one running, regal, <laughs> idling beautifully. Oh, look at it go. Look at that. The rumble Wait. of the mighty machine huh? that this is do do, uh, do you have 275 pounds no i don't need it i've got a better car than you guaranteed 
no matter what well, you show. N no, you don't have a 1958 vintage ladies Hercules bicycle hatchback diesel manual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, right, understandable. I like how it's a ladies bicycle. Uh, well, it's okay. because it's a, it's it's a low frame. Uh, that that is actually that that is the term for bicycles. I don't care what it is. It's got one mile <laughs> on it apparently. I'm not sure about that. Um, nor is there an odometer attached to it. It is. It also has a diesel manual in it apparently. Yeah, chat. Unfortunately, I don't think we can have a reliant regal to ensure. But if we did, that'd be pretty funny. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit out of reach, I think. It's too luxury for you. It's too luxury, that's right, that's right. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Wow, an Accord Coupe V6. Pretty pretty rare, but it's a V6, so we can't have it. Uh, uh, now we're starting to get some dull cars. Classic cars, rickshaw. And there's someone's 2011 Vauxhall MPV. Thanks for that. Um, a Carlton. We had a wild card Carlton last time. Didn't work out for us. Don't want it again. Okay, we're, we're on the page th three of these. Okay, this engine's too big for us, and I'm very sad about that. But I'm gonna look at it anyway because it's a bit of a dull color and an automatic. Okay, it is kind of the worst spec we could possibly have. But um, how often do you see one of these for sale, huh? Those, those are... It really is boring. <laughs> I can see why they're not that popular. They really are quite dull, let's be honest. I don't care if you're like, Oh, it's so underrated, oh my god, da 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 da. It, they're, they're pretty dull, okay? Why, why don't you don't want an automatic? Because why would you... It's not exactly a high-end sports machine, right? So if you want to get the most out of it, you're going to need that manual. Otherwise, it's going to feel very... Even with a 2.5 V6, it's going to feel very sloppy. Right, with that that auto. It's going to be a bit... It's already a dull enough car, let's be honest. In a dull enough colour. The last thing you want is for it to be dull to drive. And I feel like the auto's not going to deliver in this thing. Um, here's what we're talking about, oh. here. <laughs> You can have an American car that's not American. Someone has said, check the Discord, and I have received an extra ping on there, so I must look. What are you sending me? It must be important. Uh, I don't know which car specifically is yours, but um, I'm going to look at one of the cars someone has sent. And it's £2,000, and it's got blacked out wheels. That's, that's one thing it has. This is kind of cool because it's actually quite clean looking. The paint's very, uh, it's very clean. Paint's nice. Automatic again, a little, little dull. Uh, 1.7, mm, pushing it a bit. Nah, auto 1.7, probably not gonna play ball with that one. But interesting find, appreciate it. Uh, someone sent me this, the smart car passion. Okay, that is a golden smart car with flames on it and four exhaust tips. Um, right. I mean. Uh, no thanks, uh, but thanks, you know, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it polite. Okay, what is, someone pinged me in, uh, what are they pinged me in? Uh, which one's yours? This one. Someone wants me to get this. Uh, it's in Florida, it's 50,000 pounds. That's completely useless to me. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, no more MX-6, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely um, a car that exists in the world. That's what I'll say about the MX-6. I don't dislike them, I just don't see why they would be a popular alternative to any other car out right there. This is a Pontiac Fiero, chat. And that's the most that I have no to way. say about this car. Except for this gauge cluster, which is very funny. Uh, moving on from the Fiero, we've got... Engine size. Fuck you, 2 liter. Fuck, 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 fuck. 2 liter. Well. 
Tevsky, would you like a car with too big of an engine size for today's game? Of course, I have plenty you of You do? Oh, wow, that's perfect, because I just found this and thought you'd be interested. Oh, that is, that is pretty cool. It is, that is very cool. cool. Yeah, proper How much VTR. is it? Uh, 1,750 pounds. Oh, okay. Two litre, though, hmm. unfortunately. I mean, not bad if you're not a first Yeah, if it's driver. not your first car. Great little car there. Good, fun car, uh, I bet. So, um, but not for us today, sadly. Okay. Oh, it's an auto one of 1.8. It's getting a bin. We can't do anything with this. But it's very funky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Keep it going. Right. There's an immediate problem with this one. Oh, it's a barn find. That that is that is actually a bigger issue than I was going to. Field MOT. Can we see what the field MOT was? You going to show us? Oh, oh, oh. A any of this going to tell us? Without, I don't want to. I don't want to dox this guy's personal information on stream. Okay, do not drive until repair. Dangerous defects. Alfa Romeo one one four five one point six twin spark with a hundred thousand miles. Brake disc in such a condition that is seriously weak. Uh, weakened. Front corroded. Vehicle structure or chassis is excessive corrosion. Vehicle structure or chassis is excessive corrosion to the extent that the overall security and stability of the body uh, has impaired offside front. Excessive corrosion, excessive corrosion, excessive corrosion, excessive corrosion, excessive corrosion, excessive structure, chassis, excessive corrosion. <sighs> Headlamp aim, too low. Emissions unable to be completed. Petrol tank straps corroded. Suspension arm corroded. Tevsky, are you interested in an £800 Alpha 145? I am removing it from my list. <laughs> <laughs> Did you check the MOT on it at all before you added it to your list? Well, see, I didn't think that it was actually written down like that. And he said that it needs welding. I was like, that's fine. You did a lot of welding to your cars. That's probably all right. Yeah. Also, I like the little Mercedes pedal car in the back of the first photo. Let's um, get rid of that and uh, goodbye. Right. We need that did not sound like a bit of welding. It sounded like the whole car just needs craft. <laughs> we need a word about this, chap. Is this insurable as a car? I mean, there's a there's a handbrake in it. I'm not joking when I say this, Tiovsky. The seat in the car that I'm looking at right now is a picnic basket. Okay. The driver's seat in this car is a picnic basket. That's safe. <laughs> I don't know what to say. How big's the engine? Uh, oh, that's fine. Not point zero five liters. Not point zero five. Suitable for anyone looking for a fun and quirky vehicle. Top speed eighteen miles per hour. Made in France, where you could drive without insurance or driving license, and if you were over 14 years old. Oh, is it like one of those um, micro-cycle cars they have? Yeah. It's called an Acoma Mini Comtesse 770. I want you to take a look at it. Wow. There's no way I'm going to insure this with any high Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a beast. Look at, oh, look at that. It's quite catastrophic. High performance. Yeah. Anyway, we've got nine minutes left on the clock, so I'm going to keep scurrying. Nine minutes, boys. What is this? Oh, my God. I love this so much. I never, I've never heard of this car, and I immediately love it. Those wheels are great. I love the little shape, his little fender mirrors. Oh my god, I've never heard of it ever. And I, I, I'm number one fan. Please have an MOT. It looks rough, though. 
Well, not rough, just unclean. It is in someone's back garden, admittedly. Please have an MOT by any stretch of the imagination. Please, God, please. Wait, it won't need an MOT, it's too old. Spent most of its life in Malta. Wait a minute, is this... Oh, no, it, it is still right-hand drive, so it was... It was imported into Malta and then into the UK. Uh, the car had been painted, shipped to the UK, spent some time in a museum in London. What? What car are you looking what at? What the fuck? So it was in. What? Believed to be the only one in the country. I. Okay, it's it's a half liter engine. I don't know if this has got an MOT. Someone in chat. I think it's a bit a bit historically important for some first it driver to take. It hasn't even got a rear plate. That's kind of. That's kind of. Someone. Ninety nine percent. It doesn't have one. But chat, if you want to check that plate for me and tell me, there it is. If you could check for me to see if that has an MOT. If it doesn't, we can't have it. And that's a real shame, because this is probably the most unique car I've ever seen on eBay. It doesn't need an MOT. Okay, okay, you're right. I keep forgetting. It doesn't need one. I'm stupid. I literally acknowledged that a few seconds ago. It doesn't need an MOT, because it's too old. But then it's not going to be in running... Is it in running order? I don't know. Need some work on the engine, mainly ignition. There's no heater box. Okay, so it, it, it would need work. So I can't, I can't count it. Take it as a wild card? No, I don't think I'm going to count it. I need you to look at this, too. I've never heard of this car in my life, and it's the only one in the okay. UK that came out of a micro car museum in London after spending time in Malta. Here it is. Oh. Oh, I went past this, yeah. Daihatsu um, Max, 1969. That is... That's such a cool little machine. I love it. Love the little curving rear window. It a does need, wheels. like, a full restoration job. Unfortunately, Add that Daihatsu to the simple <laughs> mod pack. Add the Daihatsu to the simple NG mod pack, we've been instructed. That's the sort of thing I would add. It's fantastic. Unfortunately, that's we how you have preserve it, today, it. But that's very interesting. But yeah, apparently add it's had it to a virtual and museum. So, like, very good. For, I think it might just need an engine. Very cool. Um, and definitely good money for such a rare and unique car as well. So, very cool. Uh, Right, um, right. Would... It's left-hand drive, so we can't have it, but TFC, would you like a Seat? The answer's probably no. Of course. No. <laughs> oh, okay, you are interested. Biggest fan oh, of Seat. Oh, I'm going to give you no, the greatest Seat in. on eBay. Look at this. Oh wow, they named the car. That's a really bad name for a car because you can't make it right hand drive because it's called the left hand drive. Well, I don't think it's called the left hand drive. I think that's just what they've titled it as. <laughs> um, but besides from that, um, that's that's an interesting find, isn't it? All right, chat, we're down to it. We've got five minutes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start speed running here. Mu okay, this one just says Mustang. I think we've seen that car before, even. Uh, another Paseo. This Paseo has been on sale on eBay for over a year now, and nobody's bought it. So can someone hurry up and do something? There's nothing wrong with it. It's got red interior, for fuck's sake, and manual. Someone get on with it. They've MOT- and Look, it comes with a body kit. It comes with a fucking body kit. This car's been for sale for over a year. Someone go and do something about it. If you're looking for an interesting first car, Consider that, okay? I'm not choosing it because INTF you know of that car and we've been looking at it for like the past year thinking that would be a cool car to have and no one else seems to think so. So someone go think about it. The yellow Nobody one knows what, what the Paseo also good. is. The yellow one was also the same price and it's roughly in the same condition. So that silver one and the yellow one we looked at on Facebook Marketplace, both of those two cars, seriously worth considering. Really cool. The yellow one's a fancier colour, but slightly more expensive. That's the that's the trade off. Um, I don't think we're going to find anything more in the classic category chat. Uh, I think we've had... My, oh my, I'm glad I spoke. There's not very good photos of it. There's a skeleton. There's a fucking... In the background <laughs> of this car. Um, I will show you some pictures on Google so you could see what this looks like. This is, this is the car. Holy shit, look at- that's a weapon! 
Um, it has it got an MOT? Has it got one? It do it doesn't say. So someone in chat right now, quickly, quickly, right? Just quickly, you got it. You got the number. You got you memorized it. Memorized it in your head. Read it off a few times. Read it off. Check for me. Right, I've got to keep scrolling. I I'm very interested in that. I'm very interested. Need to know. Another NX. Left hand drive. Uh, speed run, speed run, speed run, speed run, speed run. Low on time. Boys, three minutes, three minutes. Uh, I don't think there's any point going to the last page. I should fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, last page. Um, okay, nope, 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 nope. Repeats, repeats, uh, and mostly nothing, nothing, nothing. Not even usable cars, not even full car. Right, get rid of that. Back to this real quick. Okay, right, chat, we've got... Uh, we've got um, two and a half minutes to find anything remaining on here. Not that we have a shortage of options, uh, but just in case there's a banger hiding away from us, we need to decide very quickly on what we're taking. So let's just skip through some pages and see if we catch... All right. And we'll take expired 10th of March. No, really? So recent. So it's just... It hasn't actually gone for a, a new MOT yet. Ah, that kind of ruins it. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to discard that, but I'm going to keep scrolling. I don't want to waste time. I'll show you what it is after JFC, because you might be very interested in it. Um, there's another one of those, and it's in the budget and the right engine size. That is actually... Mm, no, no 17-year-old's going to be able to afford to insure this. That's actually very good. Con Are we sure it's that money? It'll need some work to pass MOT, apparently. I was going to say, that's a bit cheap for one of those. It was another Del Sol. It was actually very good condition for very good money. But, yeah, apparently needs some work to pass an MOT. Reliability having a skill issue there. There was an MOT letter. You're actually right. Um, I, I realized I probably should have looked at that. Oh, okay, so it field MOT for suspension arm ball joint cover. Um, deteriorate. That's a, that's so minor. That's so small. That's such a quick and easy job, man. I'm willing to not even count that as a fail. Come on, man. That's a, that's the smallest fail ever. All right, we've got a minute. We've got a minute. Oh, one point eight. Fuck. It's a complete waste of time. Right. Sorry, prelude. You're out of here. Eighties prelude. Very cool. But 1.8. Useless to me. Uh, yellow Ford car. Very fancy color. Very uh, non-funky. Well, funky, but non-interesting car. Uh, another one of those thingies that we already have, but not as cool of a color, so it's pointless. We have 30 seconds. I will get page 20 done in a speedrun fashion. Come on, anything on page 20. Anything before we run our time. 20 seconds remain. I think page 20 is where we're going to have to leave it, boys. And I don't think it's going to give us any bangers, unfortunately, to end off. But we do have a good list already. That you know what? We'll take a look at that as as our ending piece. Because it's very cool. Um, but I think we definitely have better alternatives to this. But for 1.3 manual with 12-month MO MOT for being only £1,700. That is an absolute banger of a little motor right there. Very cool, wouldn't you say, chat? Do you like him? I like him. It's over! It's so over. Jesse, stop your search. All right. I had no eBay to look at for the past 20 minutes anyway, but yeah, I'm stopping now. <laughs> okay. We don't have to rub up my face. We do have to get rid of one of these cars, sadly, uh, because it is an MOT feel. It is the rules. So you can't have a car without an MOT. So, um, Jesse, here's what I was close to adding to my list. Look at this. Oh, the YRV Turbo. 1.3 YRV Turbo. It only feels oh, like the smallest... Oh, those are automatic only. It only feels like the smallest thing. It says semi-automatic. <laughs> yeah. But, yes. Well, yeah, those those are automatic only, yeah. Yeah. But it is... It's quite that, is that is very cool. It is indeed. But I have to get rid of it. So I have nine cars. I'm going to include this one because last second we just found this and it's kind of cool. Very safe bet. It's worth having a safe bet. So I, I have six cars. Oh, Here is it passed. Wait, what do you mean it passed? It passed with defects? It didn't pass. It didn't pass. It said major defects. Surely that's a this that not feel? Or am I reading wrong? I would see test. Oh no, it's minor defects. I misread it. Fuck, I I could have sworn it said major defects. Doesn't matter anyway. 
Doesn't matter. It's an automatic. Probably wouldn't have got us too far. Um, wait. Someone said this has no MOT. I could have sworn it... It doesn't need one. Current... Oh, no. Current no MOT. I thought it didn't need one, but it's only 92. Fuck. It does. I thought it was older. Oh, shit. That's one of my best cars. Oh, we're in trouble. James I might have lost one of my best cars. Chat has a very good point. I thought this car was older wait, than it wait, is. Wait a moment. What? Your car. That's from 92 and has no MOT. Yeah. Is it a 1.7? I reason and is it a thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds? <laughs> yes, it is. We've both made the same mistake. Isn't it just no, the I, best I, I Citroen knew, BX on I eBay? I knew the, it's, it's, it's it's a Citroen BX. I found I, it right I away. Knew, immediately went. To, this is. I knew it had no emoji. Right. I knew that you'd maybe pick this up if you find it. I knew it, it had no emoji. It's really good, isn't it? It's really good for the money. I have found it. Very very clean. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to dump it. It's one of my best cars, honestly. Fantastic. But, well, um, unfortunately, unfortunately, rules are the rules. I, I genuinely, in my head, for some reason, I thought this was an early 80s car because of the styling. And I was like, oh, it's, it's MOT free now. Nope. Off it goes. Goodbye. Damn. That stings. That stings. Oh, well. Chat, we now have eight cars to narrow down. So that makes our life a little bit easier. So, don't worry. We have ourselves this thing. Oh, God. This th Oh, God. This thing. Oh, God. This thing. No, not a problem. We're doing better. Please have an MOT. Please have an... Yeah, we're good. We're good. I think we have checked most of them. This one. We're good. We're good on this one. This one. Also, by the signs of things, MOT to November. Got him. And this rover also had one. I remember checking. Indeed. There it is. And this thing. Yeah, 12 months. It says it in the name of the ad. So there you go. Okay, well, I think we know what the first two cars to get rid of will be uh, before we even have to go and argue about it. It's these two. I would like to show you them, Tevsky, Um because okay. we're not fucking having them. It was just like a comedy choice at the start. We find this. <laughs> and That's great. On the same page, I'm pretty sure, this. Pop pink. Oh, yeah, I went past that recently. <laughs> yeah. All right, well... Not let having me, those, though. Show, That's, they were sort of me, common me, choices. Let me show you two of my cars that keep them? I'm having Bro, to... Bro, we weren't going to keep them. A of. fucking Fiat 500 is not funky I've, enough for I've, a choice. I've made my choice. Every teenage made, girl wants that car. I've made my final three options. And uh, unfortunately, I have to get rid of this because I thought that in black it was too boring. Even though it's a really good car all around. The, the 147. Oh, wow. This one. 147 Twin Spark. It's pretty low mileage as well, and like it's, the, it, the only reason why I dumped it, I like the wheels too, but it, it's it's black, it's in dark colors, it's pretty dull. Yeah, that color. it's an Alfa Romeo, it is the, the poor choice of color, for sure. Um, yeah, it's a little and dull, the, but it's a fancy car and all. The second car I'm dumping is the one that doesn't actually need an MOT. Uh, <laughs> it's this. Oh my god, yeah. I expected to see a car like this somewhere along the way. 800 cc Fantastic. Engine. Um, yeah, I can I can see that being a bit of a hassle, that one. Um, so perhaps not. Not that the cards on my screen is not much better. Um, so wants to check the Discord. Check it for what? So you can send me more £1,000 Californian cars? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, someone has sent me something. Someone said, I know it's out of budget, but I don't care. Check it out. That is a very interesting looking Suzuki Cappuccino. If you want to waste 10k on a car absolutely not worth it, buy a Suzuki Cappuccino. There you go. Yeah, we learned something today, didn't we? So, it might be narrowing down time. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll be right back, Tevsky. Hold All on. right, it's time for me to sit back and relax. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Okay, chat. I'm going to type into YouTube, thinking music thinking music that's very loud okay think with me what why is this music so loud 
What cars do we choose today? The finalists here. We have the 1.3 Starlet, perhaps the least exciting, but the safest and, well, safest bet, I mean, in terms of cheapness and cheapness to ensure while being at least a little bit different, a little tiny bit. The Rover is king. It really is. We lost the Citroen. This is top of the pile. It's a 1.6. Now, the downside with it is it counts as a coupe. Which could be a problem. But it could be worth the risk. We have won with a coupe before. Keep that in mind. This very much a hatch. Very funky. Very different option. Very possibly worth being in our top three. The little Avenger. Quite expensive. Probably going to be expensive to insure because of the sedan. I'm going to say, sadly, it's probably not worth it. The little Chrysler may not be usable in our final fight here. This Corolla, however, might be. It's not going to be the cheapest to insure, being a 1.6 sport package car. But it's very cheap to buy. In fact, it almost feels too cheap to buy. Oh, it's because it's got the engine management light on. But that's fine. It has an MOT. We're fine. It's a slight misfire. So it's very cheap. Which, in this game, is all that matters. Aside from a lot of other things. The Rover is a Civic Coupe. It's, it's not a Civic Coupe. It is Honda. But it's not. It's nothing, it's nothing Civic. It's just Honda. In all we're, It's like... It's like a prelude with a Honda badge, right? It's a front-wheel drive coupe made by Honda with a rover badge on it. It's 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 literally the Honda but with zero drawbacks from your insurance company. It's 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 the best thing we could have found ever. The Corolla is is a very good one there, but anyway, the Wolseley. Now this is funny. But do we want to be driving around them? <laughs> 1300 automatic. I mean, there's no MOT required. That's cool and all. But is an insurance company even going to cover us on one of these? I don't know. And we can't have classic insurance because we're only 17. So we can't save money that way either. Please keep the walls, Lee. It's very funny. But we can only have three cars, which means three of them have to go. What are you going to vote to get rid of? Tell me in chat now what you think needs to go. Because uh, I won't say my opinion just yet, other than the fact that I think the Avenger might be pushing it too far. I will let you say the rest. What do you think? What's it going to be, boys? The Wolseley, Corolla, Chrysler Avenger, Renault 11, the Rover, Tomcat Coupe, and the Starlet. What's disappearing? The Corolla's a bit too boring compared to the others. It's a, it's an SR in blue. When was the last time you saw one of these on the road? Never, I think. It's the most modern car, safest. Insurance companies like that. It's a lot less common than even this thing, which is a lot older than it. I played the wrong music. Actually, do I don't even know what the right music was. So I'll, I'll play this music instead. Go on, chap. What's it going to be? So, Starlet is being voted out by people. So uh, I will go ahead and just leave that to the side. What else is being voted out then? What are we saying? Never saw that Corolla spec before. It's like Yaris T-Sport. I think they did do a T-Sport Corolla, but this is an SR. It's even better. Um, so this is the best you can possibly have in these Corollas. And I think it's very cool. The roof spoiler and the everything, the little chin spoiler, it's fantastic. It's great, side skirt. Talva out. I, I think the Avenger has is I think it has to. Every time I order a pizza, I see one. <laughs> Bro, imagine having Domino's delivering an SR Corolla. It'd be there so fast. The Renault? Really? Someone saying the Renault to go? I think it's one of our strongest cars. Corolla has wind deflectors, it needs to be binned. There's nothing wrong with wind deflectors. Who cares? Is there minimal Minimal impact. Yeah, Talbot out. Okay. I'm I'm saying right now, Starlet and Talbot out is, is fine. But now we're down to a tricky choice. Because you want the Wolsey because it's funny. I'm a, I, I, the Corolla is very good bet here. The insurance company is going to like it. And it's cheap. 
Uh, well, they might like it. <laughs> I don't know. It's a sporty version. I don't know. The Renault is probably one of the most unique cars possible to include. I think this has to be there. But the Rovers are number one. I think the Rover goes to number one right away. But these three need to be ordered and one needs to go. Corolla broken as fuck. The Corolla has the exact same problems my BMW has. And my BMW has been driving fine for three straight years. Just remember, an MOT warning light is not an MOT feel. Or uh, engine warning light, sorry. Corolla isn't enough of a shitbox. Nobody likes this thing. <laughs> Wolseley out. Keep the Wolseley. Wolseley out. I feel like I, the Corolla is, is genuinely a good backup plan. I, I refuse... The Wolseley is the least likely to work out. Because it's not our number one choice. So why would we want to fall back on this? Let's, let's bin it. Let's bin it. I think that's the right thing to do. And I think to put the Corolla third with the Renault 11 second. Would you agree with this? Would you agree with... This is number one. This is number two. This is number three. Is that what is that what we're going with? The Wolsey's great, okay? It's better than these two uh, in terms of what we're looking for. But the whole thing is, number one is the only one that really matters. It's if this feels, if insurance, and this is a million pounds, we have to fall back on something. And this is not a very good backup plan. Both of these are. That's kind of... We don't really have a stupid wild card this round. Because all of our cars are just pretty up there. This is not a wild card. It's just stupid. Yes, sounds good. Okay, I think we're sort of on the right page. Chips needs to see the Wolseley. I'm worried he would actually choose this. And I don't want to accidentally um, spoil one of his cars. So I think what I'll do is is keep just hold on to it. <laughs> I'll hold on to it and show him it later. Once we've seen all of his um, because I don't want to spoil it for him. So we'll keep these open to show later. But, um, I don't want to spoil any of his final cars. So it's time, boys, for the final. And we're gonna see who is the winner. So, hello. Hello. How confident are you in your third place? Um... Not very, but my third and second places are just kind of, you know, they're kind of dumps because my first place is where the real deal starts, and that's what is being judged mostly. So I kind of went, screw it, with second and third places. Right. So I yeah. think I'll go first then with my third place because I'm more confident sure. in mine than you sound about yours, so I think that's only fair. So, oh well, I'm I'm confident. I just don't think they're good. <laughs> well, then that's that's not very confident, is it? If you think they're shit, it's kind of the opposite, if anything. So let me well, get some. Not shit. On. Just not sensible. Tiersky, I would like to show yeah. you my third place finisher. Sure, go ahead. We debated over this one for a while with chat. Some people weren't um, super keen on it. I think a lot of people just didn't see the greatness in it. But in the end, they were happy enough to let me have it in third place. And so here is what I have in my third place finish. It is a Toyota Corolla 2006 SR 1.6 VVTi. Oh. In bright blue. So, very nice color. And it's the SR spec. Absolute top. All the body kit. That is everything. a very cool car. No, this car is quite cheap. That is a you may very notice. cool It's 1,100 pounds. It has a misfire. It's, you know my, my BMW? Exactly the same thing. It's been running for ages. It just drops the mm -hmm. RPMs when you're sitting in traffic and all. And it just farts about. But it has an MOT. And yeah. So it, it's, it's very legal for this challenge. And I think perfectly fine. And for that money, it might be the end of the world. Well, so, I guess it will be a battle of Toyotas then, because my car is a Toyota that has um, 80, where is it, where, are, where is the mileage, 86,000 miles on it, mm -hmm. it's 1,800 pounds, and it has MOT until 2025. Okay. And it's one of the few Let's Toyota see. picnics you can buy. Oh my god, it's got double AA badges on the front. So this is a Toyota Picnic. Yep. Definitely didn't come across this on my scrolling. Two-tone funky points being added for that. And um, 
I can't say much more. <laughs> it is a two liter and a big. Yeah, it is FPV. a two liter, unfortunately. So you would have to be a modern miracle to get this insurable, but it is only your third choice. But yeah. I certainly haven't seen a picnic for sale I, in a while. That's the one in this condition. I, I like. I like a picnic. Who Unfortunately, the engines are way too big. But yeah, huh. it's still not like you can. You can see that it's used. It has a few scuffs here and there, but he's got yeah. an MOT and it's fine. So well, due to the amount of seats and also the engine size, there's no way in hell a 17 year old would insure it. But it is not your first choice or your second choice for that matter. Yep. Yeah. And so it does not matter. But you wouldn't be able to fall back on it if you're car you've chosen yep. feels you. And I wouldn't be able to fall back on my second choice either because it doesn't have a set price. That's a problem, isn't it? Well, yeah. it's just like every day it's just something different or is it on bids? Well, it's it's an auction with zero bids on it, yeah. <laughs> well, that, then, ends, it, that ends in five days. Have you got but... a fourth car? Uh, no, I have the first car. That is great. You only found one car. You, I found you many had, cars, you had your but feet I just I went up twenty minutes I, early just I went, to come here with one I car. Went, I went for the funkiest cars. Look at that picnic, and when you see my second option, you'll see why I chose it because I want to make a point. Chat, I think we're doing. I think we'll be fine today. I don't think we're gonna struggle. Well, my second place car is actually fantastic. It's simply brilliant. Um, better than anything you're about to whip out, quite frankly. Um, but I know it's three thousand pounds, a little on the higher end. But have you seen one this clean? I don't think so. It is a Renault Eleven GTL in blue. Um, it's a manual. It, it's it's got it's got a weird steering wheel. You're not funny. Oh, so your first place car is, is was this Renault 11 GTL? Yes. Maybe. How was this your only you second had, place? Maybe you should have had a better second place choice, or maybe a third place choice. Well, unfortunately, I will have to. I will have to go with my bids car <laughs> because I'm taking away the Renault 11. Um, I had Renault 11 oh, as my first no, choice. I thought it was a perfect car. And you, know, you stole it hey, off me. You and know, you used it as a second place car. Uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing. How? Insult. Why? Although, because it's the same car, I also can't use it. So there's that too. Because that's, you know, we, we've cancelled each other out. We, I can't have this either. So I'm going to have to close this now. It's a fantastic little car, this. Yeah. It's great. Uh, it's a hatchback, manual, all that sort of stuff. Um, but we both chose it. I can't use it either. So I'm down to two cars, much like yourself. Except that was your number one. That was my number two. That's going to be a bit of a sting for you, I'm afraid. So what are you going to do? You any backup plans? Or are you, you really going to have to rely on your second place car, which doesn't sound like it's going to carry you? I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to rely on my second place car because I feel like I can bullshit to the wind. Unless that picnic gives you an insurance quote. <laughs> I know right. that my second well, car will. Do you want to hold off your second place car then for now? Since it's not your first. It is not my first, yeah. Okay, well, you've seen my second. And I, I know you're first, but what well, you're all well, yeah, you know how it is. It's time for the our our, our first place picks as of now. Yeah. My pick is thankfully it's gone ow number plate. Um, it's thankfully a car that even I would be choosing in this scenario in real life, which means that's how much confidence I really do have in this. Just realized it's got a weird bonnet bulge. That's unusual. It is, unbelievably, after so many attempts of seeing this car in these eBay challenges, the right engine size has finally appeared right when I needed it most. 1.6 Rover Tomcat Coupe. Oh, Rover Coupe. There it is. A okay. You've never seen a 1.6 one? There see, it is. See... See, I think, I think it was Faith that took away the Renault 11 from the leading position uh, of my of my runnings because um, my second place, despite being on bids, um, I think is the best possible rival to that Tomcat that you can possibly have because that, 
That 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 rover is a coupe. It is. Um, that is the one now, downside possibly when it comes to insurance. Now, what do I have for my second, now first place? Uh huh. Is a Hyundai Scoop Turbo oh. one point five. Now I know it's on bids, but I'm gonna let it. Slide. With sixty five thousand miles on it, because a grandma owned it. There's no way this is going to sell for more than £3,000. It's an old Korean car. It won't. The, it has no is... bids and it's been up for two days already. Oh. I want to take this home. Got the polka dots everywhere. On the seats. It's an interesting it's a spoiler. Color. It's a manual. It's a 1.5. 1.5 as well. Yeah. 1.5. Oh, wow. And it's a turbo. Yeah. Okay. I want this. But I also... They're both 1994. The They're both... Okay, well, alright. If this is what we're reducing things to, then we really have both chosen 1994 front-wheel drive coupes. Yours is a turbo, mine's not. Mine's normally a turbo, but I have the smaller engine option. You also have an even smaller engine... But with a turbo. I so. do feel like... I feel like the Hyundai is going to sell for the same price as a Tomcat for some reason. If it's not going to sell for a thousand. Because who who is looking for that car? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, the, the, the Tomcat is 2,000 pounds. I wouldn't be surprised if the Hyundai was about that too. Um... In estimation. A uh, car belongs to an old lady who's not in a care home. It is a very old lady car to own, frankly. This, um, <laughs> well, I mean, maybe not a turbo one, but an old Hyundai, absolutely. So, uh, how is insurance on turbos there? They don't like turbocharged cars. Oh, but it's not oh, impossible. Oh, I forgot to mention the Hyundai has an MOT until 2025. The Rover has an MOT until. Um, until s uh, sometime June 2024. Okay, it's, it runs out, out soon, admittedly. And it's only done 44 miles since that MOT. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a little on ropes, but the Hyundai is actually a very fresh car if it's just freshly passed. Um, okay. So, when do we start arguing? Um... Three, two, one, go. A blue is a better color than red. My red <laughs> is still red, which is a miracle for for an old car. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. It looks. Oh wait, no, it's just bad reflection. Yeah, the, just on the third picture. Look at the picture. back. Like you can see, you can't see visible flaking. I mean, you can't really get a good look at the roof, but you can't see it from those photos. So that's good enough for me. Uh, obviously, if I was looking for it they in real just life, hid it I in the bush check. because they don't want to look at it. Yeah, it hasn't got great photos, unfortunately, the the, the Tomcat, but, um, you know. <sighs> Rover has a spoiler. It does have a spoiler. We both have spoilers. Spoilers galore. Now, here's the thing, right? If, and be honest, you're you're searching for a cheap, affordable front-wheel drive coupe. For some reason, those Toyota Paseos aren't available anymore. These two cars are for sale, and you're made to choose between them. Would you realistically jump in the Tomcat, or would you be jumping in the S Coupe? I would get in a Hyundai. See, I would get in the Rover. <laughs> this is a problem because, because we, we, because, we like because, both because of these the Rover cars. has a Honda engine. I will get in the Hyundai. I trust the Honda engine more. Yeah, but that just means that Hyundai will not have the Honda engine in it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You've got a bootleg Honda badge on the front. So what? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, the best sounding car in the world is the Hyundai S Coupe. No. It's going to sound a, a, dull. The lack of sound. Lack of sound cannot be bad. Well, the lack rover, of any noise the whatsoever cannot like be bad. The isn't like a screaming VTEC, though. It's like, it's the most dull shit 1.6 they just dropped. It's not going to fart. Probably has like a red line at 8K at most. And the Hyundai is like seven. It's not going to make a big difference. And if you take the, either of these cars to those numbers, they'll explode. So, I, I'm not going to take the slander on I the th Honda I engine. Think, I think we can, we can prove this by checking the power output 
<laughs> of the engine. Somewhat, someone made a very fair point in chat, I just want to mention. Um, the Rover has got a more luxurious interior than you. Because yours is cheap and cheerful. Because it's a... I personally Korean. prefer cloth interiors of a luxury. I like the color. And the, 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 the vibe. And it's a very... It's, it's bright It's a happy-go-lucky It's got interior, some color splashed it. on it. It is... I'm not going to diss it at all. But the Rover has... Like red trimmed leather seats to go with the red exterior. It's definitely a, a a more upper class feeling environment than the Hyundai. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's better. I'm just gonna say that it's a, possibly a redeeming factor that it has is that yeah, it's and a it bit, has it, more it has money black, inside. It has black leather seats, so if you leave it outside in the summer, it will heat up so much. No, if you, you leave sit it outside it, in the summer, it turns ass. pink. <laughs> and if if you leave it outside in winter, you sit down and your ass gets frozen. It's not a car that you drive when the sun's out. Well, then what's the point of it being a coupe? You don't want to be driving out in the sun. And it being will never coupe. be sunny, so I'm fine. Well, it, then it will be cold, and that leather seat will be like the coldest object in the known universe. Okay, so because cloth seats don't get cold sometimes, so I don't. Well, they think don't get so. as cold as leather seats. If well, you sit down on a cloth seat, you're like, oh, arse, oh I, I warmed it up my arse really quickly. Is warm, and I don't sit on seats on my bare bottom. Okay, I have clothing. And that clothing can get cold, because I'm See, a, a leather seat gets so cold, it will penetrate through whatever clothing you have, and it will freeze your entire, like, lower body. And your That's seats, just how leather seats your work. Your seats have been ridden around on grandma's fucking buttocks for the past number of years, and the springs are going to come straight through that cheap Korean cloth and, and penetrate your, your non-cold bottom. Would you prefer oh. to have a cold bottom, or would you rather have your, your back sore and something What if I'm into it? that? You're into old women's Hyundai's pegging you. Yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Um, my car has 0.1 of a liter more than yours. That's a bad thing, actually, for insurance. Um, the yeah. performance, however. Uh, not, the performance not the difference, thing. you may have a turbo, but you know for a fact that the, the, the Rover is going to be quicker. Well, that's exactly what I'm looking up. So, um, right. I don't actually know the what engine, the performance of the 1.6 is. <laughs> the, the engine, the engine in, in the Hyundai yep. is 115 horsepower. 115. More than I thought. Yeah, and it and it makes 123 foot-pounds of torque, which is more than it makes power. The Honda engine isn't going to do that, admittedly. Not and, quite. And... It 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 does, thirty three mpg. Go on, check the Honda. Thirty three mpg. That's not even that good. <laughs> That's mpg US. Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know how to convert that. I'm not smart yeah, enough. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's pretty. That would be pretty poor. Um. What does the rover get? The one point six. Well, I, I'm just I'm just trying to type in the Get name that six. consists of. Numbers. My not point one bigger. Yes. Okay. But you know what? I don't have a turbo to worry about when I go to my insurance. I don't have to sit there and go, ah, well, it's not a really big turbo. You know, I don't have to sit and negotiate my turbo over the phone, and that that saves you just a little bit in the real world. You know. Go on. Tell me this: a hundred and twenty-five horsepower beast. Um, Rover two one six. Tomcat Coupe Manual 1994. Okay. Um, right. So it's an inline inline four 1.6, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 120 horsepower. Okay. Which is five horsepower more than the Hyundai, but it makes 103 foot pounds of torque. Yes. In which is much less Honda than the Honda engines Hyundai. are not known for their torque output. Yes, I admit that. Yes, that's very true. The Hyundai engine is quite a bit better at, at that. Uh, despite being a smaller engine, um, I, I guess the turbo helps, but Honda are fucking useless at torque output. But, um, okay. Yes, uh, admittedly. Around, I'm, uh, I want to check, do, I wanna check the race, weight you of might the Hyundai. pull it off the line. And you're probably lighter. The weight you're probably lighter. 
the weight because of the rover is 1085 shit. kilograms and the weight of the Hyundai is 1080 1, kilograms. Oh. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a thousand exactly. Okay, so about the same weight. I'm, not sure, I'm kind of surprised yeah. with that. Actually, on on paper, the technically, the Hyundai has got better 0 to 60. It should because you've got more torque off the line, yes. 9.6 9. for the rover and 9.2 for the Hyundai. That much of a difference, huh? That's that's a blistering speed for a seventeen year old. How many miles has yours done? Sixty-five thousand. Sixty-five thousand. Mine has done. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree. So, well, does your car have um, air conditioning? Um, I don't know. Mine. Does because it's well equipped. Gra oh, Grandma's Hyundai has air conditioning. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. We're at a bit of an impasse here. I think is the word. I think. I'm not yeah, sure. It also has a stereo. I That's great. Don't care. Uh, at least it's a manual. I'll give you that. But the under came to... in manual. The one point five turbo. Seriously. Yep. That's cool. We're gonna need red equals faster. Facts. Check insurance. Only way to decide. He's right. He's right. It is the only way we're gonna decide which one. See, of these there, is there is there is one positive point of your rover be uh, because you have you have front vented brake discs and rear discs, and I have front vented brake discs and rear drums. Again, I the found one I positive the about your car. Vehicle. That's not too surprising. They will be corner cutting costs. In every single way. Uh, the last insurance quote I did was another rover. I'm very good at that in um, eBay Egypt, apparently. I'm going to do my car first. Actually, no, I'll do yours. Why not? I'll give you I'll give you a shot at, at um, embarrassing me here. If it goes wrong for me. Uh, if not... Fuel hybrid. consumption. I found the value for UK MPG. The yep. Hyundai is 41 MPG UK. And the rover is 34 MPG UK. Okay. Because that engine has to go to move. Because it has no torque. Bet you both of those cars can do more than that. Um, I'm putting in your estimated market value at um, 2,000 pounds. Uh, I will be using the same details I use every time we, we do this um, challenge, so to speak. Uh, so give me just a second to continue going through the rest of this. Uh, and I will be giving you a very impressive figure. I'm sure... How many years? Yep, 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 yep. So this is this is this is for a brand new, just passed your test driver. Like you know, you passed it a couple of months ago, and you've been searching for a car, and you finally find one, and you want to see how to insure it. That is what this is. Um, so annual cover, as we normally select. I am getting quotes for your Hyundai Coupe. What will they think of an old Korean car with a turbo being driven by a seventeen-year-old? Well, the results are in, Tevsky. Right. Your cheapest quote is from Admiral. Without legal assistance or breakdown cover, just the bare minimum insurance coverage to get you on the road in this car with personal accident cover and a courtesy car supplied. £2,247. Which brings your total up. To four thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. That, so that sounds a bit steep. I actually forgot what is the average price, but I think under two thousand is when it's good. <laughs> well, that that is a amount so of I money. I think that's pretty. That's pretty not good when two it's two thousand pounds. Two thousand two hundred. Uh, if uh, well, overall, four that's without a black box. Pounds, that's overall, and yes, that is without a black box. So, so you, you can do burnouts in your front wheel drive 1.5 turbo coupe. If, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Now, time to enter the same information on my rover. Uh, here we go. Uh, let me get that reg number. Now, this, this is, this is a, an important moment. Two incredibly similar cars going head to head here. And, um, have I got that right? I have. Yep, details are correct. Yep, and the price, 2000 Yet again, same price. 
Uh, all the same information. Yep, I have been, I've had my license for less than three months. It's a full license. All good. No years of no claims discount because I haven't been driving, obviously. Now. Hold on a minute. I need to... I need to Yep, just, just going to look up some music for this. Very important music. Gran Turismo 4, a price car reveal music. So, chat, I'm about to hit accept and get quotes. We're, um... This... Oh, no. It's loading. Gentlemen in chat, I give to you the result of approaching an insurance company and telling them that your car is a rover. Personal accident, courtesy car, 1700 quid. Seventeen hundred and seventy-five pounds, bringing my total up to three thousand seven hundred and seventy-five pounds for my one point six Rover Tomcat Turbo. See, I don't think it's the fact it's a Rover. I think it's the fact it's not a turbo, and that is the only difference. I think the Rover part may play into it, but you're right. Up, the turbo can well, make a high huge on impact. Hyundai would probably gonna have exactly the same reputation as far as brand goes. Mm, uh, I, to be I, fair, they both up until old people very. Brands. In a way. Up until very late, I didn't even know the Hyundai was a turbo. I thought it was NA. And then when I saw the turbo part, and I was, was a lot of the were NA. I was like, wait a minute. Turbo moment. was optional. If it so... was NA, it would have been much better. It would have been th that fast, but it would have been much cheaper. Yeah. So I still you... prefer the Hyundai because it's better than that? driving a Rover that's powered by a Honda. Hear that noise? That's the noise of me trying to pick up my car keys because I'm just dashing out the door so quickly to go buy my new Rover that I want. Um, so, a Rover 1.6 Tomcat for a brand new driver is um, not much more than half the price of what I paid for my BMW Compact, and that really hurts to read. But, chat, at the end of the day, this means nothing. It truly does. You, no, 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 you may think it's important, but what is actually more important is what chat decides is the winner. So, I may remind you once more. Rover 1.6 Tomcat. It is £2,000 and it is £1,800. We'll round it up for insurance. Totaling out about £3,800. This Hyundai, also £2,000, as we've set it to, to be the same as the Rover, as we would expect that's what it would be worth. Um, it was a bit more to ensure. It was about £4,200. So it's about £400 difference. However, it is faster to 60 and it has lower mileage. Uh, and if you prefer the colour blue, then it's blue. You know what I mean? That's that's the sort of... They're so similar, I can't really pick out that many differences in them. Except there is the obvious glaring difference of one being £700 cheaper, which you could spend on the road tax. Uh, both of these will be in a fairly high bracket due to their age. And so it is quite important to save money uh, for things like that, especially if you're a young driver. And the Rover, overall, you could end up with a 4000 budget overall car for tax insurance and driving. Um, so that really is... A, a possibly great car for if you wanted a coupe as a young driver, but that doesn't mean the Hyundai isn't, um, because both of them seem to have basically the same standard equipment. Uh, if you don't like leather interior, the Hyundai gets rid of that concern. If you do like a little bit of an upper class feel to it, then the leather interior is supplied in the Rover, of course. Um, if you prefer the looks of the Hyundai, then it's not that much more money to stomach if you saved up a tiny bit more. Um, versus the Rover, which of course is a Honda underneath. And so in terms of engine, both of these cars are probably fine on reliability. Neither of them have super high mileage and seem to have lived pretty decent lives. Um, and of course, they're from the same year, same drivetrain, everything. They are incredibly similar. There's just a price difference in insurance. And if you think this car is worth £400 more due to personal preference, then it might be your vote in a poll. So the poll is going up. 
and we will see. Uh, let's see who won, and it's going to be a question of me or my opponent here with the high on die. Pull away, folks. I'm going to tab out. And uh, have you got any finishing thoughts to share, Tiefsky? Um, not really. I'm just waiting for the results. I'm it, we're really on stream, just... so say yes and then say something. Um, yes. Yeah. I like blue cars. <laughs> I also like your car co car's color more because looking after a red car sucks. It has it has um, red accents on the carpets. So I would get rid of those carpets and put blue accent at once. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that would that would probably work. Or better. just no accent I, ones at I, all. I, I, see, uh, the the only thing it kind of makes me kind of sad knowing that whenever I am in a position to buy a car, this will be gone, <laughs> and I will never see another Hyundai S Coupe it for sale again. Makes me sad that I went and bought a BMW Compact as my first car, not a fucking Rover Tomcat. One. Every other car exist. in the world the should make you Rover sad Tomcats that you bought a Compact. Don't exist. This is a myth. This car is fictional. That's the problem with it. But for that money, man, you're such a unique car. I love them. I really do. Not that the SQP is also not unique, because they're super rare now. It's a super rare car. And it's been in a dry garage for five years. Barely driven by an uh, old did person. It, didn't didn't Hammond get an SQP for yes, his? Yes, and his was um, NA. His was NA. Uh, well, his was, his was second generation. This is a first generation facelift. Yes, this is a first gen one. Oh wait, no, well, it's first gen either way, there's just a facelift. They're, they're both first gen, because the second gen one's the uh, really ugly one, the really ugly one. Um, that followed this. I don't know how to describe it other than that, it's just file. Um, so everyone watching, vote Oh yeah, right it, now. Is, it is, it is this exact to, car. I'm about it, to it look is that car. at the poll and see if there is a clear winner or not. And I'm afraid it looks like there is. So, gather around, ladies and gentlemen, from far and wide to see who chose the best mid, uh, uh, mid-sized front engine, um, uh, front-wheel drive coupe that you can buy for two thousand pounds and insure for not much more than that or less, depending if you chose the Rover. Because the winner. Of today's eBay Egypts. And indeed, round number five on YouTube is myself with the Rover 216 Tomcat Coupe with a polling vote of 68%. What do you say to that? You people are boring. The people chose the rover, and the people were right. I lost with the rover last round. I won with the rover this one. I brought it back for the rover fans in chat. So Gee, the that. problem is, I couldn't pick an Italian car because all of them were rotten. That would have been more funky. That's the problem with Italian cars. It just is. You see, a rover would never rot. Oh yeah, like they're known for their See, reliability. The I may have won this with a rover, but in the in real life, that hand like could be immaculate, and this rover could be rotting to death underneath. I don't fucking know. We could look at MOT history, but it's a bit late. I think the rover was the fan favorite. It's not that people dislike the hand like. A lot of people really liked it. It's just that when you put two so similar cars side by side, and one is considerable amount cheaper, the it, it can't. It, it's it's a pretty clear view of a victory, isn't it? Um, although I am quite surprised the Hyundai was so much more. I thought it maybe a hundred pound in it at most, but four hundred is quite a difference. Um, so yeah, uh, there you go. I wouldn't have expected that, but that was indeed the outcome. And of course, your number one choice was robbed in the end. The Renault 11 probably would have been even cheaper to insure than this, but I'm not. But it was way more expensive wanted the to Rover buy. Over my Renault, they probably would have voted it anyway. So at the end of the day, and it was quite expensive, admittedly. That was the one drawback of it. Um, very clean though, very good. Uh, before we go, I would like to show you my other cars that I had to get rid of. I decided not to show them in advance in case you chose any of them. You didn't. Um, 
this was a very, very close to making it in. I just want to let you know that. Okay, why why did you have a Wolseley automatic? <laughs> because it's a hatchback and it's a 1.3 and it's vile. Wow. So there was that. When, was, when, when was you said yellow, that. I didn't mean like green yellow with green carpet inside. It's a grass on the floor. I, I don't think I called it yellow. I think I did call it baby puke though, but we'll gloss over that. This was another one that I personally wanted to get rid of because I just wasn't sure if we'd be able to insure this car and it is on the more expensive side, but it is a nice little Chrysler Avenger or Talbot Avenger. It's a late model one, so it's not as good as it could be, but it's got a vinyl roof and it's got a very bright orange interior as well. It is funky, it as well. very, very cool. expensive, yeah. It is very expensive and it's a sedan and so I wasn't sure what the insurance would be like, so I got rid of it. And at last second, before the timer ran out, we picked up this little machine, which we got rid of in the end, but... You know, very cool. Uh, you often see these come up, but I one with red with the red graphics on it. I don't know. It's quite a nice. I I went it past like it and I thought that's cool, but then it's like very obvious. It is. It's a very safe bet, and for that reason, the Renault was preferred as a safe bet over it, understandably. So that was our forbidden cars to choose, and um, the the Corolla was debated upon, made it into our third place. But, yeah, to be real, both of these cars were so close when it comes to deciding who won. But in the end, chat went with the cheaper car and the one that's probably in subjectively better spec'd. Um, you know, even though the Hyundai is the turbo version. I don't think there was a turbo 1.6 Tomcat. Um, although it would have been interesting if there is to see what the insurance difference would have been between the two turbo cars. But you never see a 1.6 Tomcat. So here it is. Out of all of these, the Corolla is probably the best car. <laughs> It's probably the one I... Well, if it didn't have a misfiring issue, it's the one I'd recommend a new driver. But because of the yeah, not, our game is to be a broken. bit weird and funky and risk our, ourselves getting a shitbox in the name of being different, we both chose cars that are perfect for that theme. So pretty good final round, even if the voting wasn't the closest. Just when you get cars so similar, it's either going to be close or one's going to be a lot cheaper than the other and win people over. So... Can you check the Talbot? I'm I mean, not going to bother, I, I, but I've, I've, it's a cool car. I have been winning for quite a bit in a row, so now I guess it's time Yeah, you keep you winning funky <laughs> finds, and you won the last eBay Egypts, uh, although you are still quite far. I think our eBay Egypt streak now is 4-1 Oh, me. wait, no, it's, it's it's the funky finds right yeah, there. It's 4-1 to me. Uh, funky finds, okay. however, you're beating my ass, so I'm going to come back strong and... About two, I think we're due one in like two weeks time, something like that. So we'll be back to Funky Find soon. But next week, chat, more Gran Turismo 4 randomizer. I'll be back for that. Uh, look out for that. They'll be on the 31st, a day before April Fool's, sadly. But you know what? Better randomizer. Might get some early tomfoolery happening there. You never know. So I will see you next weekend. You have any final words? Um, uh... I still prefer the blue color. Goodbye. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. I won. I won that. Me. Winner. See me? Winner. The word win comes to mind. Because I won. Winner. The win. Simple NG Discord chat uh, link in the description. Join. Come talk about beam things with us. That's it. So goodbye from me, another round of Eba Egypts. When Suru Cup. Yeah. Maybe, maybe when they announce Horizon 6 or something. I haven't, I don't think I've played that game since the Suru got added, I'll be, I'll be honest. Even the Suru couldn't bring me back to that game, beyond to acquire it. What a dull, boring game. Horizon 6 without the series gonna suck, man. They bet they better pull through. Or we added to Beam and G and do it there. It might be better there, honestly. Hold out for a hero. It might still happen. They've improved the event lab. I could make better tracks now. We'll see. And I will see you next week. Good night, folks. Fun round. Bye! Oh, God. <laughs>